Hello. Can you hear me? Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. You're all I ever wanted. My eyes are open wide. Is it arms or eyes? I don't fucking remember. How's everyone doing? Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're all doing well. No camera today. Let me explain why in a second. Because I'm a mess. Hey, Boots. Hey, Agni. Hey, Claudia. Dora. Principal Todd. Art Ever Gross. Her be fabulous. Damn it, Amber. Dead. Ugh, I'm so over this Risa Tisa lady, but we are going to get through it. <laughs> She's probably one of the... I don't want to. I don't want to insult her intelligence, but yeah. I know we're early. It's four twenty-seven here, though, Rudy. We started a few minutes early. This one, I'm so over this Risa Tisa lady, but we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish. We're gonna finish her stupidity. Rudy, who? I don't know. Oh, who's that? Oh. Uh, hey, Bootsy, Fat Boot. How's everyone? How you guys doing? So I'm wearing my green bowling shirt. <laughs> I think you could put two and two together. I was not thinking that outfit through. Oh, Principal Todd, it's too much. I was thinking if I did this dress for bowling, I'd have more time and get ready to go. Unfortunately, I forgot that my shirt is bright green. <laughs> so I really don't want to be a floating head. So I had already hairsprayed my hair and all that other stuff. And I was like, I'm not changing or putting a hoodie on because it's going to mess up my locks. So no camera. However, however, tomorrow, um, I think I'm going to go live tomorrow uh, about old Breezy. Oh, that Breezy's a fucking mess. I made the thumbnail. I just haven't scheduled anything yet. So you guys ready to get into this fucking asshole? Oh, who the hell's messaging me? I'm live now. Uh, that stupid TikTok woman. <laughs> so, we get a text. I'm going live, so I'm like, I'm live now about that stupid TikTok woman. All right, you guys ready to get into this shit? Okay, so if you guys remember, there was no part 24. Death, who was in chat. Hey, for a good time, not a long time. She sent me part 24, but honestly, I don't care enough. <laughs> so we're just going to start with part 25. I cannot imagine that woman said anything in part 24 because all of her fucking parts are just like incessant stupidity and everything's out of order anyway. So we're going to... Oh, hello, Carson. Oh, I wish this was a more exciting one. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's live will be better. Um, this is not an exciting live. This is... I don't even fucking know. Part 5, 6, 7, right? This Risa Tisa lady. I thought I'd be really excited to do this. After the first three streams, I'm bored as all shit. But I don't like to not finish things, so we are going to finish it. But usually, Carson... As you know, in the replay, there's a camera, we got live chat, we got fun little animations and things. We're not doing that today because I wore my green bowling shirt today and I wasn't thinking, bitch, show it. Bitch, show it. Mm -hmm. It's for you, Show Dusty. it. Show it. Show the fucking screenshots. Hold on. I can turn bitch. the camera on for a second. Actually, can I? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just so Dusty can see. I mean, I guess I could, I guess I could have did it without a green screen, but I, no, I'm not, I'm not fucking everything up. You'll see me tomorrow. Shut your face. Are you guys ready? <laughs> anyway, so normally the lives, Carson, are a lot more entertaining and we have graphics and fun stuff, but I'm wearing a green shirt right now because I got to go to bowling tonight. And when I wear a green shirt, I become a floating head. Show myself. Oh, for God's sakes. Damn it. Fine. Only because Texas asked. Hold on. Don't let me forget to turn this back tomorrow. All right. Look. See? I wasn't thinking it through. I mean, I guess I could leave it like this, but look at my look at my messy room, my messy closet. Oh God, I wasn't thinking it through. So if I had my green screen up, I would be nothing but a floating fucking head. But I'm a mess. So no, that background is giving me anxiety. No camera today. You'll get the normal camera back tomorrow. Oh, thank you so much, but I can't today. Tomorrow, tomorrow. All right. So I just wanted to prove everybody my face wasn't busted, and that you know. Uh, 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 Sal from Indiana didn't show up and like punch me in the face or anything. I just literally wore a green shirt and I'm like, shit, I'm not changing now. You guys ready to get into this shit? You'll have me tomorrow because I didn't make the thumbnail for Breezy. So tomorrow's stream, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do old Breezy because Breezy's a fucking mess. All right. So we want to share audio. What the fuck did I marry? All right. You guys ready? 
We will get through recent tea faith. We will. I'm gonna. We only have like. This is parts 26 through 30. I'm going to try to speed through these next week and do like three live streams just to get it over. Because I honestly, I'm so uninvested in this woman's life. She sucks. A whole snack. Well, thanks, Sanders. Much appreciated. I love this green shirt. Such a lovely, such a lovely, such a lovely color of green. Look at that. I love it. I mean, I guess I could leave it on. Fuck it. Let's just leave it on. But I'm going to start looking up there where there's no camera. There's my invisibility cloak, by the way. All right, you guys ready? Let's do this. <clears throat> so this is, we're going to start with part 25. Fuck 24. Can you guys hear? Part 25. You guys can hear, right? Who the fuck did I marry? Oh, shit. We got to speed her so, up. I can't reset. You're too fucking slow. We have to speed Reese's up. Hold on. <laughs> Playback speed. Let's do 1.25. Is that what we normally do? I think 1.25. We weren't looking at houses anymore. We were. See what I mean? She's back to houses again. We went from like cars to houses to cars to houses to David to aunts to houses to cars. Now we're back at fucking houses again. She. I wish she could tell a story cohesively I'm not working with a realtor anymore hey pistache what time are you going live i can't join you later because i got the bowlings but i'll be done with this by six i mean you can go live while i'm going live contrary to uh uh indiana grifter <laughs> greasy here grifter we don't care so if you want to go live feel uh, go feel free because everybody's probably already saw this anyway but if you want to wait till i'm done i'll be done by six because i gotta go i gotta go beat some pins april I had decided that I wanted to... Sasha, do you want to come up? Are you bored? <laughs> this woman is so boring. Let me know if you want to come up. Look for another job. Oh, you're going to stream in two showers. Never mind. I did. The reason I want to look for another job is petty. <sighs> Why? Yeah, it is. I wanted to look for another job because I was pissed off at the fact that um, I had basically still. was dependent on him to help with the car note. So I wanted to look for another job where I could afford like. The more she talks, the more I'm giving credence to all of you out there who say that uh, she was a gold digger. Oh, you want to come up? Okay, cool. Hold on. Now, spoiler alert. We might not actually get through any of this. This My stream might get hijacked. But I have a feeling it'll be more fun anyway. But we'll see. We'll try to get through as much as possible. Hold on. I'm going to send this to Pistache. Let's trigger some people. All right. I sent it to you myself including that car note basically where i would make more money i told him that i was going to start looking for another job he laughed and his exact words were you're not gonna leave georgia state patrol he was like i swear you love them niggas more than you love me huh? he laughed why would he say so that? that fueled me even more so i was hitting the pavement hey, hard trying to find another job i was applying to all kinds of places got a phone call um from oh, Texas, my I current job so this is how i ended up in my current job got a phone call um they and they had sent me an email with a background packet the background packet was long and extensive, but in the background right. packet, it asked for my spouse's full name, my spouse's date of birth, oh my and my God. spouse's social security number. Oh, my God. So I showed it to Legion, and I was like, I need your social because, you know, I'm applying for this job. It's a great job. It's well, I'm sure he was like, one, 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 one. <laughs> Way more money. Hey, Tommy. Um, and, you know, we're talking about moving anyway to Cobb County. So, this, you know, this, this is a God thing. He didn't uh, God? Okay. not want to give me his social. Because he probably doesn't have one. <laughs> I explained. I showed that him that he owns anyway. The paperwork where I was like, "Look, because we are married, I I can't lie on here. So help me." <laughs> um, so he writes down his social security number on the background packet, and um, I eventually turned it in. I scanned it, saved it in my email, and yeah. and sent it in. Okay. And it was not his. I looked at it one day, be, just going through it, just making sure I didn't really miss anything. All T's were crossed, all I's were dotted. Yeah. And I looked at his social. And something about the social seemed different than the social security number that I remember seeing when we did our marriage license. And so... How do you not know your husband's social security number? I don't... I just... I don't understand. Vicky, member for three months. Hey, Gigi and Chamley, but I'm here. Thanks for being here, Vicky. How do you not know your spouse's social security number? Do you, do you know your spouse's social security number? Your man's... Can you hear Can you me? Hear me yeah, 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 do you know your man's social? Oh, I know his last four. Yeah, you know something of it, right? Yeah, yeah, why, why can't can I, I hear myself? myself? Oh, I don't know. I can hear you fine, though. Ugh. I don't understand how you, she wouldn't know. Like, she's like, this, this. so she ha she needed his social for her job application, which doesn't even make any sense. So it was for the job application, right, folks? Oh, you have an echo? I don't hear an echo. Death. Everyone else? Oh, oh, it's my fault again. My fault. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you, Are sure, you sure I'm lying? No, 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 it's, uh, oh, no, it's gotta be you. Would make, make sure, sure you were about, about to check first. first. My, my my stuff looks good. I don't do the do thing, thing you're about, about to just do. do. I, I did. It's it looks fine. That's weird because let me let me get, get the working from streamyards. Is maybe, maybe this, this one? one? Oh, hold on. 
No, no, I fixed it. No, I fixed it. Boo, 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 boo. No, no. Let me try Let to unplug. Hold on. That's weird how I don't hear it, but you guys do, which usually is a me problem. <laughs> but my settings are good. And hold on. Live stream all audio. Is that is that bad? Oh, you just you just no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Uh, is it still uh, is it still echoing, guys? I can I can I can still I can still hear myself. Hear myself. How come I can't? <laughs> I can't even. I don't know if they can, can and you can't. You can't. I'm, thinking I'm thinking it's something, it's something with, you. with you. One moment. My speaker is Beats Fit Pro. Boo, 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 boo. My mic is. Let me try this. Hold on. Any difference or no? Boo, 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 boo. Yeah. Yeah. Still, well, this is balls. Hold on. Um, so <laughs> yeah, I don't know, yeah, I don't how, know it how it could be, be me. I don't get how it's me either. <laughs> I'm curious, I'm curious to, hear to hear what, what they, they hear. They said they hear echoes too. I don't have another tab open, do I? No. Uh God, everything looks good to me. I don't understand. Uh, Boots, are you free to come up to see if you get an echo? <laughs> yo, yo, roll, roll, roll me, roll me, roll me for a second. Throw me, throw out, me out for a second. Right, hold on. I don't know how to throw you out. Hold on. Oh, kick. <laughs> yes. I don't get it. <sighs> Strangers in the night, exchanging glances. Mm -hmm. Mike says my live stream audio, which is normal. My speaker is my headphones, which is normal. Oh, Boots. All right, let me send you a thing. I'm going to send it to Boots, see if she gets an echo, too. If she does, then no guests today, and I'll figure this out next time. I'm sending it to you on the Discords, uh, Bootsy. Little Boots, Fat Boots, Fat Boots, Little Boots. All right, so I'll send it to you on the Discords. <sighs> anyway, let me hit. Oh, hold on. She's back. Still? Please, Please I, I, know, I, I can hear myself. myself. I, there must be something I'm not thinking of. What would know. cause this? Oh, I'm gone. You fixed it. You fucking yeah, fixed now, it. Yeah, but now my I don't think my rhesus thesis will work. Hold on. Let me know you, you fixed it, though. Let me know if you guys you. can hear this bitch. Can you still hear the her? I can't hear her, but whatever you did, fix the issue with me. Yeah, that sucks. Can they hear me though? Yeah. Can no. oh no, see they can hear me and everything sounds good for them. But this but will sound in the video, right? But this just proves that. Oh, we lost you. Oh, you went on mute. Something happened. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm back. Can you hear me? Yeah. What the hell would do that? I mean, I don't know. I've, I've done, I've, I've had guests all the time. I must be forgetting something that I didn't think through. Yo, wait, can I ask you a question though? This is what yeah. I wanted to ask you about the Risa Tisa situation. Uh -huh. I've not watched any of your coverage of this. Uh -huh. What are your feelings about her? Do you feel uh, like she was pathetic. willfully, she was willfully pretending not to be aware that something was deeply wrong, right? I think she is desperate and lonely. Yes. Um, I think that I kind of feel bad for her because I know everyone's like, well, she ignored all the red flags and stuff. And I feel bad about that. But at the same time, like, she just she just wants love. Let me know if this works. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you guys yep, hear me? I ran his security. All right, cool. All right, go ahead. Sorry, Ruzan. But, um, dude, she, yes, I get it. Lonely, desperate. I feel bad. But she was willfully fucking to like to an ungodly degree like she has some ownership in this do you agree oh i know why there was a neck i figured it out son of a bitch hold on um well yeah I, she definitely she needs therapy <laughs> i mean <laughs> at the end of the day a, a pathetic person needs to get help like a de desperate sad person i agree with you but i still feel bad for her so me know? too of course hold on one second hold on one second so there's no there's no echo now right no. You don't it's hear gone. echo right now? No, it's gone. Okay. 
So I think I figured it out. Cause, so I created a second virtual cable, which means nothing to anybody here. <laughs> but to me, it means something special. Because I've been doing, as you know, I don't know if you noticed, I've been doing reaction videos. Again, like recording them. Oh, and it fucked you up, your setting. So I left my second cable running. So now you can still hear, pista can you hear pistachio coughing right here? Hold on, listen. <laughs> Do you hear that? Yes. Okay, can you hear her? Security number from the marriage. Yes, you can right, I fix it. I had my sec. I because I filmed an Amber reaction earlier and I left my fucking audio cable on. Anyway, so I figured it out. Boots, no need unless you want to come up and shoot the shit. You're more than welcome to. Um, I just I feel bad for her. Like I would have. Okay, so this this story should have ended in part two, when <laughs> she realized her dream house was sell, sell to two old Caucasian people and he never like even had a contract on it. That would have been the end of my relationship, but she kept going. And yo, have you watched any of his interviews where he is no. showcasing how much like of a yet. liar he still is? I haven't watched. I haven't even. I don't even know what he looks like yet because I'm trying to get through this, but I'm already so bored with it because I feel like she says the same thing in every video, <laughs> like nothing new. Yeah, dude. Cause... The reason why I ask is because once I began watching, him, he's not even a good liar. He's not even a good liar. She was willfully disregarding all of the red flags out of desperation, out of, she has issues yeah. too. I have rarely seen anybody say that both of these individuals are severely uh, problematic in their own right. Like very I, rarely do I see them. I don't think she's problematic. Problematic I mean, she's... in the sense that she has issues. I don't, that doesn't make her problematic. I think she should see it there. I think she just wants to be in love. I mean, although I do, the more I listen, the more I do think I lend credence to the people who say that she's a materialistic person. Yeah. She started money, much, she got money hungry. But at the end of the day, I just see like a, a woman who just wants to be like, she's in her forties, right? She's sad. She wants to be in a relationship. <laughs> well, it's true. That's like, I mean, it is like. No, I'm like, laughing so, at your mama. Your mama says Gigi wearing his green screen. LOL. I know. I'm so pissed. I forgot to. Uh, <laughs> hey, your mama, why are you always you have so much trouble on Twitter? I can't with you. <laughs> uh oh, what's happening? I'm getting so tired of everybody with this homophobic bullshit. Like Alex's shook hasn't even addressed it. So it's like, why is everybody else making a fucking. Wait, wait, wait. About it? what did he do now? That's homophobic. I missed <sighs> that. Did, he, I don't see, I don't consider him homophobic, but you, He's and I, not. you and I don't just throw labels at people when they make a mistake. He was trying to, I know what he was trying to say. So I don't believe Alex is shook is a problem, but Alex is shook was reacting to, I guess some guy followed Amber in public or something and, and was filming her ass Oof. and everybody thought it was like funny and hysterical. And I did. And I thought it was stupid. inappropriate, inappropriate. And, and, yeah, your mom was trying to make a point, but he fumbled over his words and he unfortunately said he he said the word gay and not a real man in the same sentence or something. And I was like, there it is. Now, do I believe that makes him homophobic? No. I, as a person who, too, has tried to make points and has flubbed his own words, <laughs> I get that, like. I just don't think I don't. It, it takes more than one sentence to make a person homophobic. But you know how we operate around here. Yeah, dude. And listen, let's be clear and let's be honest. The reason why people go so hard for Yo Mama, it's not because of shit like, oh, he's homophobic. They'll exactly. twist his words because they don't like his fucking opinions. Correct. That's, That's what it's, it's about. about. It's about the way he reacts. I mean, nobody. I, I was just recommended a video today of garlic bread. I don't know why I'm being right. Probably because I'm doing Chantal stuff again. And uh, you know how like when you, you scroll through YouTube, it automatically previews the video. And the video yeah. starts playing. And the first thing I see is uh, a post from Chantal's aunt's Facebook page. And I just sat back and I said, you know, they, it's not that they have an issue with straight men in Gore World. They have an issue with straight men who criticize reaction channels. Like We have to be yeah. real here because that's yeah. creepy too. We're supposed to be reacting to Chantal's videos. Her fucking aunt's Facebook has nothing to do with Chantal's videos. Nothing. But he gets a pass for it. So uh, Mr. Snowflake releases part two of the documentary, Happy Birthday, Babe. Wait, wait, wait. who fuck. are you saying? Who gets a pass? You're saying... Um... Straight men get a pass in Grow World as long as they don't go after reaction channels. They stay creepy with Chantal. Well, yes, her. as long as they have the right opinions about the, about the right people. 
Correct. So, Snow Mr. Snowflake releases the documentary on her birthday with a happy birthday babe message, which to me is creepy because you're a straight guy. Why are you acting like a bitch? But that's just my opinion. <laughs> but that's okay to do because wait, he that's goes what after he said? Chantal. That's oh, what yes. he said? Yeah, he released part two on her birthday and he wrote on his computer tab, happy birthday babe. And everybody lauded him as a hero for that. Oh, yeah. We talked about this. You And, and I'm like, okay, so that's not creepy. Garlic bread going through Chantal's aunt shit's not creepy. It's stop saying you have a problem with straight men in this space. You don't. You have a problem with straight men who don't like you. You have a problem with straight men in this space who don't have the right fucking opinion. Correct. And then of you course, don't have uh, the hateful opinion about the people you hate. Like stop it. Be a fucking you, adult. And then the YouTube crispy hair ground was was post was trying to jump on it like this. The, the homophobia in this community is running rampant. This was hours after she retweeted Frenchie saying that my father is a homophobe who hates me. And I'm like, you sit your white ass down, Yaba. You are not one to speak about this. <laughs> sit sit down, wide load. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about homophobia? All she does is... The woman is so desperate. The woman is so desperate to save her lazy fucking money-making operation. She's literally running around. She has to lie about people, so she's trying to pay me out as a predator because the bitch has no defense to anything I say about her or her... Uh, her, uh, her um, or grifter yo have they ever addressed all of the evidence that you oh, provided not. Oh, not that i know of somebody told me somebody told me she said that her old tweets are none of my business so my father oh. your, my father's none of your fucking business neither is my mother so wait she's they're no longer outright denying that those things are legitimate and that they were actually tweeted out i Shocker. guess not i know so her whole tweets are none of my none of my business, but my mother is her business. Yeah, have a seat, Samantha. <laughs> have a seat. Pretend you're in court. And take a seat and wait your turn. Is what the hell? Yeah. So. Oh, um, Dina Ground, you just froze. Oh, I mean, I look okay. Is it me or can you guys still see me moving? I don't know if it was just me. I'm shaking my head. I'm shaking my Did head. Did you guys just have a severe fucking blip? <sighs> Yabba dabba don't exactly. <laughs> Yabba dabba yeah, don't sit your down. ass right down. Um, so yeah, so this yo mama thing is just crazy. And then this this just breezing thing is this thing not even going to be who the fuck I marry? Are we just going to talk about the whole going? Should I just change the title to what's been going on? And we just how long have out? you been streaming up till now? Oh, like 10, uh, 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> we haven't oh. we just started, <laughs> but I'm, I'm so bored with her that I was kind of like, I welcome the distraction. <laughs> Uh, I know what that's like. She you said she had continue. no rap sheet. Get the fuck out of here. She got a fucking CVS receipt. Sit down. Who? Sam said she <laughs> had no rap sheet? <laughs> Sam also that's said. Bullshit. Sam also said she was never an, an addict. And then went into um, a story about how she spent years at a pain clinic getting uh, uh, other. What? What is it? Um, What's the N word? Oh, God. Yo, gaining ground. Uh, I don't cam. understand. Why that lie? Why is she all of a sudden lying about her history with drug addiction? Because her bullshit with Belinda and me didn't pan out the way she thought it would. So now she's desperate to rewrite history. But why that of all wow. things? She's been grifting for 50 years. You think she's going to change now? Uh, <laughs> I mean, she's been doing this shit for decades. You think she's going to change now? Can you just, I can't believe that of, out of all of the different YouTubers that she licked, tried to lick asshole on, that Yaba is the one that was successful in the end. The, the one she targeted the most ended up being the weakest. And, and I just, I can't even handle it, but whatever. It'd be better but I think that's listen. the answer. I think that's the answer. I think Yaba's doing everyone a public service because Yaba's saving an actual good person from being manipulated and taken advantage of. Like, let Yaba get the one to be taken <laughs> advantage of. You know what I mean? Like, she's not a good person. So I'm glad that if Sam's going to fuck with anybody's life, let it be Yaba's. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's the weakest fucking link, apparently. Yeah, she's a terrible human being. So you know what? That's your karma. Sam karma. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. So I was like... <sighs> I was dreading going on this stream because I thought this was going to be like this interesting 50 part series. And Pistachio, this bitch says the same thing in every video. Do you not want to continue every... watch together? I mean, we can. I just like, she says the same thing in every video. Like I, every oh, time no. I watch this video, I'm like, this is deja vu. So in we didn't get the house. Boy, so in, get in her defense, <laughs> In her defense a little bit, it's because she needs to reiterate because she, she chose to do it in parts, you know? Yeah, but her parts are stupid. She doesn't, there's no continuity. 
she goes from like before she was pregnant to after she was pregnant back to before she was pregnant. How and could you let yourself get pregnant? Like how many fucking red flags within, occurred? That was within a couple months too of them That's dating insane. she got pregnant. And then we start this video and the first thing I hear is, so we didn't get the house. I'm just like, oh God. <laughs> Yeah. And How many houses are you not going to get until you realize what's going on? And, and until you start doing some research on your own. <laughs> like, this much. is bullshit. And the whole football situation, how did she or her family not do any amount of research into what that type of football is, what it pays? I don't know. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. Well, let's, 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 let's listen. I mean, cause this is what it's titled in some bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's do go. it. And I use bitches of course, very uh, affectionately. Nothing came back. So I thought that. So I, I don't know. So I don't know if you heard while you were coming in. So she wanted to get another job. He well, says, I watched you this want... whole thing. I know all yeah, about he it. He says, you're not leaving Georgia state patrol or whatever. And then she decides to apply for a job and she needs his social, which I don't understand that at all. Is that what she said, guys? She needs his social for a job application for herself. Doesn't make sense. She goes to get a social and she goes, this social looks different than the last time. Like, this is your husband. No, wait, in her defense, that could be a thing if, if, it, if it had something to do with like health insurance and if they were about to get married, she may have to give his social if she is adding him to her uh uh, health insurance. So that I don't think no. Work. I don't think I don't. I, I'll ask my sister. I don't, I don't think you know, my man. My man had to add mine with when social. there were when there were talks of uh, like intertwining me into his health insurance. That's the only reason why I said with a social security number for health insurance. That seems weird to me, but maybe I know right. <laughs> Jesse's lot of Jesse's like if Pistachio watch out, let's just get her summary guaranteed shorter and funnier. <laughs> <laughs> You've written it down wrong. Basically, what it is is that the first three numbers were different on the background packet than what was on the marriage license. If you don't know this, here's a... And again, that right there. So if the first 86 red flags weren't enough for me to go, a changing social security number would have ended this story at part 25. Agreed. No, there's 25 more fucking parts. <laughs> a little trivia. Your social security number, the first three numbers pretty much are dictated by the state you were born in and the state that issued your birth certificate. So, Oh, is that true? I don't think I knew that. Um, Milk is Milk King. Thanks for uh, being a member for three months. Might have been security clearance. Like, uh, oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe. Maybe. But wait. He was born. You hear what she just said? Stop this for a minute. She did enough research to understand right. the, the way that a social security is given to you, but not enough research for all of this other fuck yeah. shit? Like, come yeah. on now. Yeah. Come on mess. now. She's a mess. Oh, Cecil McFly says, we've been put up with a lot of shit. But I don't, Cecil, would you have put up with this for this long? I don't know. you would have. I don't believe you would have. I would not. As soon as, as soon as my, I found out my dream house was never even on a contract and ne like, and an old couple were, was moving in, that'd be the end of my relationship. I'd be like, you, you made up all, and then the part that really pissed me off about that, if you remember, she knew he lied. She went home and confronted him and she let him lie. And I'm thinking, oh good. She's going to now be like, I caught you, bitch. You're lying. No, she let him get away with that lie and went on to marry him. Wait, wait, listen, I could understand. <laughs> I can't understand her going through with marrying him. I could understand maybe if she stayed silent and allowed him con to continue to lie to see how far he would go. But that's not what she says. And she fucking married him. Yeah. So that's obviously not the case. Yeah, that's true, Cecil. But I think you've grown since then. I don't think you'd put up with this. Uh, I told the story when I first watched that part. You probably didn't hear it. I'm going to tell you the story. Her doing that reminded me of when my friend came home from high school and she had ditched school for the day. She had cut class and she thought her mom was going to be out all day and she intercepted the voice message of saying your daughter was not at school today. Well, her mother works for the school system and apparently while her mom was at lunch, somebody said, hey, where's your daughter? She's not in class today. So for her mom was home washing dishes and my friend gets sober. She goes, how was school today? <laughs> and my friend has no idea. She's like, it was good. What did you do? She's like, well, we had a math test. My, her mother slapped her across the face so hard. See? Like, that's what I thought we were going with this. But it's yeah, just, yeah, she was like, yeah. oh, I caught him lying. And then I married him anyway. What? Ugh. <laughs> In Pennsylvania. So and before you, oh, for all you soft ass bitches start crying. This was the 80s and 90s. People got hit. Get over it. <laughs> also, the first three letters. <laughs> I'm so me. tired of like everybody crying about your mama and, and jokes about getting beat. Like, shut the fuck up, man. A generation of pussies. The first three numbers of your social security number should be attributed to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania shit 
they probably got like five, six different numbers, uh, three digit numbers that your social security number. Look at with. all of this detailed research she did yes! for this one. <laughs> How you know all of that, but you don't know all of the other fucking information that he I gave you that was I absolute can't. bullshittery. I can't. So the social. It's true, Claudia. That like, at what point are you no longer a victim? At what point are you a willing participant in this bullshit? The marriage license, for example. It's desperation. Um, was probably one, This two, is, this, this, okay, first of all, before I started watching this, Belinda says to me, you're going to be watching the Yava and Sam love story. And I didn't know what she meant by that at first. Now I get it. <laughs> now I get it. But this is also could be the breezy love story. This would be something just breezy. Have you seen the breezy shit? You? Me? Yes. What? What do you mean? Recent? With, with naked and laughing? No. What? Oh, you and okay. You and I have. A, I'm streaming about tomorrow, but you and I can have a phone call after this. And I'll tell you all about it. Lost oh, her. Shit. You didn't see the fishnets in her ass on YouTube? Oh, I did. I did. I seen that. <sighs> Anyways, three. This could also be the breezy story. What was on the background was four, five, six. Both of those social security three-digit prefixes are issued through the state of Pennsylvania. Again, this is an example, so I can make it clear. So when I saw his social on my background i immediately knew that was a different social than what i saw in the marriage license and that um, wasn't um, enough and when i compared that should have been it because i, I yes. have found a copy of the marriage license what's that, that show in. dirty john it, remember that show dirty john it was based on a true story this is like dirty john because i had filled it what out on the computer blonde guy? so i don't remember what it was about there was two seasons the second season had the redhead connie Britton from uh, nashville I think yes the that's what i mean yeah. yeah this is dirty john well, sure enough the <laughs> first three numbers were different the rest of the numbers were the same so one of two things, either when I ran his background, I did in fact put in the wrong number or the number on the marriage certificate or the um, background packet is wrong. So I decided that I was going to roll the dice and take the social from the background packet. Again, this is the background packet that I had to fill out to get oh, my current job. I'm gonna ask I was you trying to get a new job. Yo, how much of the TikTok... Uh, rumblings did you you didn't watch any of the tiktok stuff like her naysayers and people who have criticized her did you watch any of those tiktoks because mm. yo i want to ask how do you feel there was this woman there was this woman who she did a tiktok saying that and it's kind of fucked up but i want your opinion on it she did a tiktok saying that the number one red flag for her was that a man who has these type of finances in reality, in real life, doesn't go for a woman who looks like Risa Tisa to begin with. That's terrible. No, but I'm saying, she says, regardless of what he looks like, men's value is usually, you know, it's their finances, it's their station in life. And she got a ton of flack for saying that a man who really had these type of finances wouldn't go for a woman like her in the first place. How do you feel about that? I don't know if I would say a woman like her. What I would say was, let's be real here, older, wealthy men tend to like younger women. I mean, it's just what you see. Like, the reason why I'm bringing that up is there was a video today of Sean Penn at 56 or 57 years old frolicking in the beach with his 24-year-old girlfriend. <laughs> and I was just like, what do you two have in common? But that 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 tends to be... But not, I don't think that'll be everybody like i think it's dangerous to well, say but, but here's my point my point is this she got a ton of backlash for simply stating the facts of reality this isn't her opinion this just is statistically this is how things go yeah, men are their value is based on their finance and their station in life and she was just stating a statistical fact that usually men who really have that type of finance would not go for a woman that looks like her, her size, her just overall looks like, and she got so much fun. She got fucking like bullied off the platform. Yeah, I mean, there's truth, there's truth to it. I just, I don't think it's every wealthy guy, but I agree with you that, that the stereotype, the majority, it's usually younger and they like younger women because they have the money and they can buy love, I guess. I don't know. I just, I really hate, we need to, as a society, we need to be able to state facts. Oh, we've lost that. that. I know. Lost like, that ability. What the fuck, we lost that man? Years ago, this, the latest generation, we've lost that ability years ago. You can't see a dick. Cecil says. See, I mean, your mama literally miss, says one sentence, one 
sentence and everybody's jumping down as though he's a homophobe but nobody's saying anything to to other people who are pushing narratives that i'm a this and i'm like it's just it's all performative bullshit cancel culture it's all fucking stupid it's all stupid. Um, and wait cecil said some rich guys like big girls too yeah. that is absolutely true however usually they like fat girls as a fetish not as the woman that they're gonna marry I'm not saying this is my opinion. This is just statistical, unfortunate fucking facts. Well, they're reality. toys. They're playthings. Yes. They're playthings. Yeah. Like, what the fuck no. does Sean Penn have in common with a 26-year-old? Nothing. I'm sorry. Nothing. Nothing. And I would say the opposite. If the woman was the 56-year-old and the man was 24, like, what the fuck do you talk about? Oh, well, back in the 70s, oh, I wasn't born till 91. Like, what the fuck do you talk about? You don't talk, you fuck. That's it. Yeah. You fuck. <laughs> And you exchange right. fucking cash money. That's all. You exchange fluids. Ugh. Ah! Around the background. Gross. Check on it. What came back on this particular background were was all the addresses that the social security number, I guess, had been um, attached to. So all of the addresses. So the she ran a background were Georgia, check. Georgia, okay. Rhode Island, Pennsylvania. Oh, Rhode Island. She so ran a background check and still married him. I think that's what she. No, this was after the marriage. Oh. They'd already been married. She should have did this before the marriage. Was California. So I thought that was weird. I thought, okay, maybe this is not a complete background because clearly no, he always went an to excuse. San Diego State. Always an excuse. It's on his resume. It's on. It's on quite a few things. I it hate it. He didn't have a LinkedIn, but... sec, I hate it how she takes very little. Um, she takes very little ownership of, like, allowing herself to be manipulated and for this to go as far as it did. I hate that. I hate it, how little ownership she takes. What I hate is that she had to spend seven and a half hours telling us this story. I could have told it in maybe 20 minutes. Yo, yeah, but that's why people have criticized her and said that her obvious goal from Jump Street was to monetize. That's why she did it so slowly, hoping that she could monetize in the interim so that by the time she hit the last, you know, she was, you know, making money from the story, which she is not- fine, but admit it. Admit she- it if that's what it is. She was on Good Morning America, and I'm like, we have to interview a woman who fell... Like, like, let's interview everybody then. We'll never do anything else. Like, she's not the first <laughs> and only one. Like, it was weird that they would put her on Good Morning of fucking America, and I'm like, whatever. And, I, yo, and if I was seen- her, I wouldn't want this kind of attention. I'd be a little embarrassed. Me too. And, yo, have you seen all of the Reese Tisa copycats? Like, this is oh, a new... There's story. a new one that came out this morning. What the hell is she claiming? I saw one say on Twitter, I said, here's another one. Who the fuck did I date or something? I was like, here we go. I'm about to make I'm about to make one. Who the fuck did I DM with in Discord? Dude, most people have a story like this. Mm. They just didn't let it go this far, you know? Yeah. I mean, I've been kind of almost catfished, but then I just, you know, with Google image search and other things, I easily was like, nope, you're fake. Like, like it just takes two seconds to figure out, nope, you're fake. And wait, not tell hard. me not back in our day, it was much easier to get away with shit like this oh, when social media and cameras weren't as prevalent. So it's different if you're coming from our generation, you know? Yeah, for the early 90s and somebody says, I used to play for so-and-so, how do you verify that? Like, oh, unless you go find a, a sports fanatic who was a fan. Now you can Google this team, this league. Like, it's not hard, but... <sighs> And keep in mind, all of this occurred in the past 10 years where she could do the research, where, you know, pictures and information was available. So she cannot sit on that and use that as an excuse, you know? Bye, Jesse. And oh, Milk, if he ever sent in my DMs, you guys would never hear from me again. Um, love me some Efron. I got to watch that new wrestling movie with him. He's half naked and a lot of time with little tights on. I really need to watch him. His social media. So clearly, he had. He had been to California, so oh. maybe I just need to do a different background check. Also, to note, during what do you mean time, a different he, background check? It's you don't get, federal. <laughs> you don't get social security's based in the fucking state. I didn't get a new one when I moved to Florida. Yeah, dude, aren't background checks federal? So it's not like oh, a different background check. It is what well, it she, is. What it is. She's talking as if well, maybe in California you had a different social. No, my <laughs> social followed me from New England to Florida. You don't get a new one when you move to a different state. Like she's because just looking... it is federal. She reminds me of. I watched sometime. I watched these cats. Not not catfish the TV show. But there's a channel called Social Catfish, and they find these older people, and you could just tell they just make constant excuses because they just need to believe that this person. Like one lady was talking to Johnny Depp, and I'm like, "Ma'am, you're forty something years old. Johnny Depp ain't talking to you." 
this for a second. Second of all, you're missing three teeth. And, but she needed to believe it. So everything that came up, she was justifying, well, you know, oh, I, I know that that photo where he was with Amber Heard at the time, but he told me in DMs that um, he was just putting on for show because he didn't want the media to know they were getting a divorce. Like, they have to believe it. They just have to believe it. Yo, said, did oh, you Lord. see? Yo, did you see that old woman who was convinced she was in love with and talking to Post Malone? Oh, God, of all the people to be catfished by that guy. Dude, all of this is, oh, I'm rich, yet I need you to send me $20,000 yes. so that I believe that you're not in this simply for the money. Like, it's so, I feel bad for these women. These First older all, women the real, are bad. If the real Post Malone slid into my DMs, I would block him. No, thank you. Secondly, Come on. No, gross. He's Ugh. a sweetheart. It's gross. Secondly, um, <clears throat> I've seen those when they asked the, the people, they were like, why do you think... Um, who's the last one I saw? I wasn't, uh, let's just say Johnny Depp again. It wasn't Johnny Depp. But why do you think Johnny Depp would need money from you? He's a billionaire. And you know what they said back? Well, he explained it to me. He shares the bank account with his girlfriend at the time. And he didn't want the girlfriend to see the withdrawals. And he told me he'd pay me back when they broke up. And the guy's like, can you uh, believe that? Because they're desperate. They just want to believe it. Yo, usually, usually what they say is what I said. They usually say, oh, I need you to send me this to prove that you're not just talking to me for my money. That's usually the lie that they tell. Mm. <clears throat> um, I think I told you guys he had hit his leg at work. So what was happening was it was getting more and more difficult for him to walk, like put pressure on that leg, on that knee. Um, yes, I saw he was still able to go to work. He was, he was still leaving at six fifteen in the morning. He was still coming back between three thirty and four o'clock. But I clearly could see where he was <laughs> in pain. Um, he would elevate the knee, ice the knee. It was it was getting worse, and I was constantly like, "Go to the doctor. Let me take you to urgent care so that they can look at this knee because you shouldn't still be." Go pause for a sec. Having a have you seen people theorize thinking that he had HIV this whole time? I haven't even gotten that far. You know what I'm thinking about while she's talking about this? What? I'm thinking about when she had the DNC and he left her there for three hours to recover and nobody oh, could find him. Like, I'm thinking, she, I'm like, you're over here offering to bring this man to a doctor to get help. And he left your ass after a DNC for three hours. And not one time does she say to him, where were you the whole time? Like, she just needed to believe this guy was a rich guy who she just needed to believe it yo and did you see the whole time he was paying uh bitches to fuck him he was no, paying really there spoiler <laughs> alert <laughs> spoiler alert i don't really care at this point i'm not surprised like yo surprised. hard time um putting weight on that knee and every single time he was like, oh, you know, it's, it's fine. I have a doctor's appointment on Wednesday. The doctor just told me to ice it and to elevate it. Um, this happened. This is an old football injury. It happens all the time. It used to happen a lot when I was out in California. So I'm mentioning this knee issue for a reason. Um, but back Dude, his knee is fucked up because he's severely morbidly obese. That's what it is. This is why she gets on my nerves. I'm, 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 I'm mentioning this for a reason. But then what's going to happen is we're on part 25. She's not going to circle back till part 36 probably. And I'm going to be like, what knee problem? Like, she sucks at this. No, he's had so a knee again. problem from jump. I think she mentioned it pretty early on. No, I know. But, like, she does this the whole time. I mentioned this will come up later. And then it doesn't come up for, like, 12 parts. And then I'm like, wait, what is she talking about? She just – she should have written down an outline. <laughs> wait, just, no, no, no. Wait, wait. In her defense, I think your issue – our. Yeah. I watched it all in the span of like two days. So I like binged her series all together. I didn't watch it as it occurred. I didn't watch it in parts. I watched but I'm it. I'm watching it in order and she's, she doesn't do it in order. I'm Yo, he's the order that she little, boots. It. little boots. He was, he's fat still now, but he did lose a ton of weight. I would imagine due to homelessness and the, the ability to like, he can't feed himself, but yes, he, at the time he was severely morbidly obese. Have you guys not seen him? No, you I haven't gotten that far. Him. I was, I was gonna continue when this was over, but honestly, I'm so sick of her. I'm not sure I'm that interested. Yo, you in should jump straight to watching his interview where he's not even a good liar. Like you catch him every 30 at? seconds. He fucks his own lie up. Where did he give an interview at? On TikTok. Oh, God. No, but it's a long. Somebody did a live stream. So it's an entire like almost two hour interview. And the interviewer was really slick. He just, he didn't push him or question him on any of his lies. So he just let him continue, keep going. And it completely showcased just, this guy is mentally ill. 
this guy has a fucking issue. And that could be seen. Like, who the fuck crafts people and has hour-long conversations with fake people on the phone? That is nuts, dude. Have you gotten to that part yet? Uh, no. I mean, I knew... I, I've already theorized that that was what's happening, so I'm not surprised to confirm it. Well, I, he was on the phone talking to somebody, and I was like, he was talking to movie phone, bitch. Like, he's over here listening to <laughs> to uh, uh, Avatar, The Way of Water, 3 p.m., 4.45, and you would just like, tell your mama I said hi. And hey, wait, yes. how is she out here be building relationships with somebody third party through phone calls he's having and never does she get on the phone and be like hey let me say hi to this person let me say hi to your brother we've been talking through you for a year let me get on the phone and say hello that never occurred like that's too much that's too much i'm not surprised people are like Gigi, just fuck this series go to the end i will see what happens after this stream because i'm kind of over it background the second time with a second social it showed me states of georgia pennsylvania and rhode island and that is see, all she that, already that's said all this come on addresses i didn't see anything yeah, for california rates a lot so by yeah, this point, she already said this we're moving into may of 2021 it's gonna be things are may. To reopen <laughs> one of the things that reopened was san diego state so i called san diego state i, I did Mel. let's office. talk about that and said it was delicious so we had brunch i brought over um uh oh god bread and butter uh Brutes, Prosec I guess it's Prosecco, I don't fucking know. With some OJ, and I also brought over some Tropical Punch uh, juice as well. And then we had brunch, and then we went to the Highland Games. I think I talked what, about this already. Dude, what Tropical Punch? It was like a little... Um, like a little one-serving bottle. I don't know. It was like it said Fruit Punch or Tropical Punch on it. It was like Tropicana or something. Ooh, we delicious. had mimosas, and my friend made waffles, and monkey bread, and other shit. We ate that, and then we went to the Highland Games. you know what the Highland Games are? Yes, we had this conversation, and I played that. Were you on the stream with me? Oh, you were. Oh, we were too. Okay. Big key, yeah. Matt. What did Max Keeble's big move? So it was a lot of fun, but anyways, we did. It was a good time. And then this Sunday, cannot wait. Hosting movie night. Super excited. We're gonna watch um, Late Night with the Devil. Did you see the trailer for that? No. Who's in it? Uh, I, I recognize his face, but I can't tell you his name. It's about um, it's a talk show that, that that it's a nightly talk show. It's a live talk show with a studio audience, and they and the whole premise is they bring a little girl on, who claims she can speak to Satan, and they tie her to the chair. It's a horror movie. Um, I haven't seen it yet, but I heard it's really. Is this good. the one with Sweeney in it? That bitch Sweeney something? No, that's Sweeney Immaculate. You're thinking of Immaculate? No, that's Immaculate. Oh yeah, you're this right. Is, uh, the world from the web movie. No, this was last night. Uh, last uh, late night with the devil. So. Um, my friends are coming over and I'm making a bolognese. Mm, I can't fucking wait to eat bolognese on Sunday. Love, love, love bolognese. This. How the hell we get to food? Oh, because the brunch. <laughs> um, I'm like, how the hell did we get even get there? And there was boiling there was... thing for their fucking eating delights. Yeah. Um, Do you know what I mean? On... What? When I say, are you boiling anything? Boiling? I love my sous vide. Leave my fucking sous vide chicken <laughs> alone. But my, my bolognese will not be sous vide. It's bolognese. It's pork, pancetta beef oh, no. oh it's delicious Real pork Blech. yeah it's it's pork it's a bolognese it's delicious i'll take a photo and send it to you on sunday you're welcome no thanks to request yeah it's coming to shutter this friday it's a uh, smell of rain it's on digital friday so that's why i'm hosting it the movie movie night this weekend a transcript um i was able to try to request it online okay i'm just gonna skip over to 26 because i'm ready over here huh. do Let's it part 26 all right because she's saying the same shit oh she's saying wait did i use Oh, here it is. She's saying the same shit over and over again. The socials were not California. Rhode Island, Pennsylvania. We got it. Who the fuck did I marry? Go. So, Tell me something I asked new. Legion, What's the deal about San Diego State? He's like, what are you talking about? Okay. And I said, um, why is there no records of you there? <laughs> I just came right out and said it. Without missing a beat, this man said, well, I was a private citizen. Huh? What the, the fuck does that mean? does that mean? And what he said is that when he started at San Diego State, his father paid money so that... Okay. It's important to say this with a straight face. His his father paid money so that his name and social would not be publicized, and he would be considered a private student, a private oh citizen. Um, he said that he had. Are we all private citizens? I am, aren't I? Aren't you? Are his, we all private citizens? Dude, his lies are not even well thought out or well fucking. Like he's just he's such a bad liar. I don't know how she bought any of this for any length of time. Now I wish I hadn't fast forwarded. How did she know he didn't go to San Diego State? Because I didn't think a school can confirm or deny that. I thought that was 
I didn't their records. They can all they can confirm is if this person attended. Yeah, they can't give you any other information, but they can say, did this person attend for this, 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 or that length of time? It's like a job reference because you can't yes. actually ask somebody where they fired, why were they fired? All you can yes, say is, did, absolutely did this person that. work for you? Yes or no, and that's it. Any other questions against the law, by the way, guys? Yes. So if you ever go for a job and somebody calls your last employer and asks too many questions, that is illegal. Get a lawyer. At a card where all he had to do was show the card. He does not have to give his name. He does Claudia not would have know. to San Diego's give any state school. because he had that card. He said so. San Diego State would not public would not have any record of him, but he was in fact. That a doesn't make any sense. Was he the invisible I man? Said, and he claimed that you played football mm -hmm. with two like, socials. Fuck out of here. This make any I said sense. so. You're saying that the school did not publish your name anywhere? Yeah. And they were in violation of NCAA rules. And he was like, "Why are you asking all these questions?" And I said, "I'm just curious." Because you're a liar. You're saying that you were private. What do you mean? But, but her response, well, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. My response would be like, because I am tired of you lying. There wouldn't have been a response. I would have dumped him in part two. Citizen. Dude, like, I would have you rowdy you... and damn near violent by fucking day three. I would have, I would have thrown something by now. A pasta bowl, a, a, a bottle of olive oil. I would have thrown something at this man by now. Yo, we, yo, you need to have respect for yourself. Have some fucking respect for yourself. And for the truth. God exactly. Damn. It's your partner. You're just curious. It's too much. It's too much. You in compliance with NCAA if you were a private citizen exactly. and they did not publish your name on any roster. So that was his excuse. Uh -huh. He was like, all I can tell you is that I was a private citizen. My dad paid for it. Okay. I would have said, get your dad on the phone right now. Let's talk to him. Yeah. Get your daddy on the phone right now. I need to ask your daddy how he did the impossible. So now I know that San Diego State has no record of him. Exactly. Now Where's I know my that BMW? his social security number, at least the one that's on my, back, my background packet, cares about. only shows that he listed in... He Yo, and did you that, he lived. that she felt entitled after all of this? She felt entitled to that fucking BMW that they were supposed to just give her one? Yeah. In Georgia? I'm sure she probably has one now between her Good Morning America appearance and all her TikToks. BMW, Yo, BMW was not going to give her a car. They used her for... Um, an advertisement, but a different car company ended up giving her a fucking car. I'm just thinking, I gotta pay for some new windows. I'm about to come out with a who, who, who the hell did I sleep with uh, 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 a story for TikTok. 50 parts of who did I sleep with. I'm gonna come up with the craziest shit where just like men were rotating out of my bedroom and I didn't know who the fuck I was sleeping with and every time I turned around, I was a new man. I'm gonna be rich. I mean, wait, I mean? for this, she absolutely did turn this uh, warm piss of a situation into ice cold lemonade. Oh, she sure did. So I'll give her props for that, but it's she like, sure own it. Own what you did, you because it was smart, it was clever, and this is what you do. But I hate the fact that she's not owning it. I, I had an, I talked about this in the last stream. I had a next. I don't know if you heard my last stream where um, <laughs> he just we only this and it was like four months because I got onto him by month three. So many stories, and everywhere we went now, he was always paying for me, always paying for my friends, and he had a college degree at, at a very prestigious college in Rhode Island, and his relationship with his family. So many stories, and then things just started unraveling, and it's like everything he told me, everything he told me, even he even lied and said he had diabetes. Oh <laughs> I, was sitting, I was sitting with his brother one night, I'll never forget it, we were sitting at the bar waiting for him to show up, and me and we were at a gay bar, and me and his brother were talking, and I said something like, um, oh, you're, I'm not going to say his name. I said, your brother is really excited. He's going to, uh, he's thinking of applying for his master's or business school for master's next semester. And his brother looks at me and goes, you need a, you need a, you need a, a BA for that. I said, he's got a BA. His brother goes, what are you talking about? He dropped out of college after one semester. I said, he did what? So he comes walking in and you could just see it on my fucking face. Why he even allowed me to sit with his brother knowing he was a pathological fucking liar I got out of that bar and I walked out the front door and the scene I made in the middle of the night in Providence, Rhode Island, and that was the beginning of the end. Because don't lie to me. As like, you do. It was such a stupid lie. It was such, and then and then then I found out he doesn't actually have diabetes. We were at he had a, his friend got married. And then we found out the wedding was fake. By the way, I, I, everything was everything was. I should do a fucking part series. You got his your friend, own legion, bro. His friend gets married. And we go to his friend's house to spend the night, and they get married in the backyard. And his friend had, uh, it was, his friend was marrying a woman who had three kids, and they were together for a while. Okay, cool. So I'm at the wedding, beautiful little ceremony in the yard. As the afternoon goes on, he's like, yeah, uh, hopefully one day they can really get married. And I look at him, I said, what? What do you mean? He was, oh, that's not real. There was no, like, that. there was no marriage certificate or nothing. That was just done for the kids. I said, wait, 
what do you mean I had a pistachio? What do you mean? So her, the baby daddy had unalived himself. If she remarried, she would lose his benefits or something. Something It was related to that. If she remarried, she would lose the deceased husband's benefits. Maybe he, however the hell he passed away. But the kids were always like, you two should marry. I want you to be my real dad. So they faked a marriage <laughs> so the kids could think they were married. So I was like blown away by that already, right? Then I'm sitting in the kitchen with this information already soaking in my brain thinking, this fucking place is a circus. <laughs> she walks in, the new wife, quote unquote, walks in and she says to him, my boyfriend at the time, make sure you eat. We don't want your sugar to spike or something. I say, your sugar? And she goes, yeah. She goes, oh, diabetics need to make sure they stay on top of uh, their sugar. I said, Di- this was two months of relationship. I said, diabetics? I said, who's diabetic? And she goes, he is. I looked at him. I said, you're diabetic? He goes, oh, I never told you, babe. I said, no. I said, nor have I ever seen a needle or insulin at your apartment that I'm there every day after work from 4 p.m. until yeah, like the next so morning. Lie, dude. It was just lie after lie. What else did he lie about? Uh, all the all the money he claimed he had, and he was buying us all breakfasts and dinners and spending all this money. Me and my friends, it was he was just racking up credit card debt. It was just a lie after lie, and then oh. the, the, and then it got then the then it the final straw when I was already over everything was I would go to his apartment on the way home because I had worked an hour from my house and I would and he lived in between, so I would just go to his house and spend the nights or whatever, and um, he would let me use his computer and I would just you know play card games or whatever and he forgot to close his manhunt.net browser and his oh. Craigslist browser. And he was posting ads uh, looking for men to speak to. Look at oh, yeah. to. So he comes home and I'm on the balcony and I was smoking at the time and I'm on the balcony just chain smoking and he's like, hey, babe. I'm like, why are you on manhunt and Craigslist? What? what do you mean? What do you mean? I said, I, I don't understand. And he goes, it's not a big deal. I'm not mean anybody. I just like the attention. And I, oh. like, I looked at him. I said, I don't give you enough motherfucking attention. And that was like the end of the relationship. And then I left. I had to go back and get some stuff. We talked for a little bit, tried to work it out. And I said, I can't trust you anymore. It's never going to work. I can't trust you. And yo, Lil anyway. Boots in chat says, everyone has some form of a legion. Oh, uh, that's too much. Yo, this is the truth. I've had several people try to lie to me. But immediately, I, I like, I'll put my hand on their leg. I'll be like, honey, homie. Like, you don't have to lie to me. Like, we don't have to do all that. And then if you confront them immediately, usually one of two things will happen. They will start lying even more to cover up the fact that they're a liar, or they will immediately take comfort in that. And then all of the fuckery will be exposed to a point where this is not, this is not the person you thought they were. And it'll all come crashing down. You need to confront it boldly, immediately, as to not waste your own time, you know? Yep, it was bad. It was bad. Uh, by the way, Breezy update. So Breezy streamed for three and a half hours, harassing and poking King uh, naked and laughing. She ended her live maybe 40 minutes ago. She is now live once again with the title... King Cobra's future ex is awake and live. I don't want to hear shit about that girl's daughter. I'm sorry. I like, yo, can I, her. yo, like that bitch, Cobra's girl, she's not a good person, 100%, but she is 100% mentally ill. Yes. You don't fuck with some, like, I get it, comment, like, do commentary, but don't get involved. Don't start, like, you know what I mean? Actively poking and into engaging with this person. You're a fucking evil piece of shit. If you're willing to poke and prod someone who is so obviously threatening your children, threatening her child. She said, I'm going to call. She loves it, man. It makes her a victim. I'm going to call the school. And she made this big deal. Queen Cobra's disgusting threats. And and outside of her little hug box, everybody's like, fuck you. She's making these threats and you're still putting your daughter. And here's the problem. She was live last night. And for some reason, 300 people decided to tune in. I said, now you've created a monster. She's just going to keep going and going and going and going now. But what, yo, how gross is that? That the attention is more important than the safety of her fucking child. She will put her child out front knowing that this bitch is attacking and threatening her child, but she'll still continue to engage. And she keeps going to victimize herself and for the attention. And she keeps going off on Twitter um, about how I should be able to cover her without my kid being uh, 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 brought into it. Yes, I agree with that. But you're not covering her. You're poking and prodding her. Commentate without engaging. 
Because the only way Breezy, because Breezy has no talent, no personality, she doesn't know how to react. She did it with Shanta. She's trying to do. She's trying to do French fried girl. She's trying to capture that lightning in a bottle. She wants to insert herself and 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 make herself. She wants to. She wants to FFG this shit. That's all she's trying to do. That's all she's trying to do. Whatever. We're gonna cover her ass tomorrow. I think I made the thumbnail and everything, but. Oh, I've had enough of her. Oh, thanks, Smells. You're looking great, Gigi. Let's discuss the look. This is my bowling shirt. <laughs> That's the look. See? <laughs> it's, that look is my bowling. bowling Yo, can you hear me? Bowling. Yeah, I can. Is it? Does it sound fucked up? No, it sounds good to me. Okay, good. Pennsylvania. Anyways, we'll cover Breezy tomorrow. I gotta stop detouring. This bitch is just so boring. <laughs> okay. So at this point, Let's go to one point the pain in his knee oh. is getting worse. Okay. Uh, it's getting to the point where when he would come home from work, he would take a shower and immediately get in bed, elevate his knee. He was he was not even eating um, the way that. Ty, hold on. I agree with her. She's mentally unwell and can't parents need to take her phone away and go upside. Yeah, she keeps trying to think her little sycophants the, the, that her doxing mods keep bringing up Jessica Messica. Jessica Messica is doing the same thing. No, no, Jessica Messica is covering her and laughing at her. And here's the difference. When Nal responds to Jessica Messica, Messica doesn't pick up the phone and call the police. That's what Breezy does. Breezy pokes, 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 pokes. And then when Breezy gets a response she doesn't like, she calls the authorities. Now her daughter's getting threatened and she's live poking again. Oh. So I'm sorry. If something happens to her daughter, I'm going to feel so bad for the daughter. I will have no sympathy for Breezy. Zero, none. And I hope the father finds out. Dude, she's, she she's using custody, her daughter as a shield. Absolutely. Yeah. If her daughter, do if she does have custody, I hope if this thing blows up, I hope the father finds out and she loses custody. This is fun. I wouldn't, there are people on this platform I no longer engage with because they, <laughs> because just minor threats and harassment. I can't imagine if I, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's so sad that you're this desperate for engagement and to not get a job that you're willing to sacrifice your own fucking daughter. Ooh. More tomorrow, sorry. Dude, it's gross. You should stream about this bitch tonight, and then I'll stream tomorrow. At, he used to eat. It was getting to the point where, at times, exactly. Um, if you remember when I told you all about the miscarriage, they gave me pain meds because I had taken that pill. But the pain meds I was allergic to, so I couldn't take them. But I still had them. So the pain in his knee was. What is to the, the point, point of this? One of those pain meds, just yes. to get victimize her herself. He was constantly in agony, constantly kind of tossing and turning. So much so that in May he moved into the guest bedroom because I couldn't deal with the tossing and turning thing. And he just said he was more comfortable there. Yo, you know what so, fucks me up too? We so didn't even want to sleep with you. God bless him. Go ahead. Do you know what fucks me up about the way she talks about this? She oh. does it from a place where she's placing herself above him. Like she's always condescending. It's like, bitch, you were the moron who believed all of this. How can you condescend to this level and act like you're smarter than like it just I don't like the way she talks about it. She does not talk about what a moron she's she was. She's enough. talking She's talking like she's a victim and she's not taking enough responsibility. She's None. full victim here. None. She's not taking any responsibility for him. What, what at first was a, oh, I hit my knee at work, turned into, no, it was an old football injury. This has happened before. Turned into, So you caught him another lie and you continued for 24 more parts. Cool. To, you know, it's painful for me to walk on. <laughs> turned into, it's, it's actually hard for me to work on it. Um, but he was, he was still going to work at 6.15 every morning and coming home between 3.30 and 4. So um, it is... Again, I'm just giving you guys the chronological order of how all this happened. I kind of want to, I'm going to do a poll. Should we, should we continue or should we peek, peek in on Breezy? Peek in on Breezy. Let's get should we just, it. Should we just peek in on Breezy, guys? Because you're all it. yelling at me. Everyone's yelling at me. Go to the end of this. This sucks. You guys want to <laughs> see what amazing uh, commentary Breezy's saying? Let's see. I, I got to see it. I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I might not even finish this series. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to try really hard, too. I just don't care. All right, hold on. You're going to hear before you can see. Give me a second. Well, I was hungry before I started this stream. Now I think I'm not going to eat till tomorrow. Very classy. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, everyday, Miriam. I'm sorry you got attacked today by the birds. What is the camera angle? Oh God, it's coming. <laughs> non existent. Oh. 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 Oh, that was a big one. this one. Hold on. Shut, I can't. I can't. With her voice, it's ruining my that? concentration. I don't know. Her voice is ruining my concentration. I got to do this again. Hold on. <laughs> Share screen. Why is it not? I want to share the video. Oh, there it is. I'm an idiot. All right, here we go. She's watching. She literally, she's trying to copy Jessica Messica. Jessica Messica goes live and watches this woman's lives. This woman, Breezy is one of the laziest, unoriginal, 
talentless women I've ever come across. Like her whole content is, I'm just gonna pirate these videos for you. She doesn't. Oh just, wait, just... don't her and Messica have a past? Weren't they both vying for garlic bread's That's attention the at the same time? That's the part that pisses me off. She had such a conniption because Jessica Messico was flirting with garlic bread or was having an, a side thing with garlic bread. And now she's out here antagonizing this mentally ill woman and doing the exact same thing that she claims Jessica Messico is evil for. I can't. Oh, just stop smoking. Mm. She's going to throw up. She almost just threw up on my phone because I think I'm a few seconds ahead. Yes, is, Vicky even, says, yo, Vicky says Jessica is messy, but she owns it. That is why yes. I like Jessica. That is what I said to somebody. I said, don't compare the two. Jessica literally is openly messy. Breezy is fake. It's fraudulent. in the name. Fucking Jessica Messica. Hello. She's called police on MFW. She's called police on everybody who looks at her the wrong way. And I honestly, I don't, I, I'm watching this woman on screen and I have nothing but sympathy for her. And I know she's evil, but guys, she's not well. Yeah, <laughs> like dude. she says evil things. She's not well. She's not a well, but this is not us. We know sane people who say evil things. This is not that. No. This is a sick woman. And this lady on the left, let's not forget Breezy is a recovering addict, right? And all about recovery and helping others. She's sitting here laughing at this woman who's in like the depths of fucking despair. It's disgusting. She makes me sick. Oh, okay. Listen to the nasty shit she says. I already know she's going to say I don't know, shit. but just be prepared to see her throw up because she's like on the verge of it. The way she's coughing. Ugh. And if she throws up, I just might throw up. So we're going to have quite the problem. <laughs> Look, like she's laughing at it. This isn't funny. I'm sorry. I was so grossed out. And here you are. I hope so. I don't have she's so fake, Pistachio. She's one of the worst. Like, she doesn't get enough attention. She needs her own community. That's why you should, you should, you should go through her Twitter and shit tonight. Like, she needs she's not important enough, dude. I don't she give is. a fuck. She is. She's not. She shouldn't. She shouldn't be getting any attention. Um, she, I'm, 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 any positive attention she people need to see who this woman is step along i don't dude I people don't see they end. just don't care dude how can but they like we care? know we already know she is the pe she's the person people watch when no one else is fucking streaming about these topics she's I mean, the bottom exactly, of the barrel dude that's exactly it when jessica messa goes live her numbers like fall in half. yeah dude she's the poor man's fucking jessica messica sad <laughs> It is, what time is it? She's in California. It's 2.30 there. This woman spent all day watching Nell, and now she's again watching Nell. She did it again all day. The day before yesterday, she streamed, I think, for nine hours about this shit. Then she did the fishnet stockings, blonde hair. It's like, I, I hope she, I don't think she has her kid. And if she would come clean about that and say, you know what? I actually don't have custody. I actually think a lot of people would breathe a sigh of relief. Yes. But she doesn't want to admit that because she wants to claim she's this good mother, which I'm not fucking buying. I'm sorry. What mother of a, I think she's a preteen, has this kind of time to stream for eight to ten hours a day? Who? And the kid better not be in fucking earshot of the shit she's oh, saying. Guarantee. Uh, excuse me. The other day she posted a Twitter. Oh, my God. My daughter put Foodie Beauty's face Oh, I on saw the that. Photo. Dude, how, how inappropriate is that? How does your daughter even know who Foodie Beauty is? None, dude, none of the Foodie Beauty shit, none of the lore, none of the background. How old is the kid? I think she's preteen. I don't even know. The, like what, details. like 11? Like probably like around there. I don't know how, I don't think she's a teenager yet. I'm just, it's so inappropriate. Why does the girl know? Why is she aware? Why are you using her as a fucking, uh, I can't even, as like a, she puts, I can't, I, I can't, I can't. Imagine having a kid and, and this woman on screen. Because did you see what, did you see what Naked and Laughing actually wrote? No, what'd she write? Uh, I don't even know if I can read this on stream. <laughs> Hold on. Let me try to give you the, the I, I skimmed it. It was disgusting. Shield, was yes. Busy little bee, shield. Oh, I said shit. that earlier. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. But it's it just was so great. It said, she, she literally is, I can't even read this. She, she ultimately, it's this long diatribe about reporting videos. And then she says she's going to off. You know what I mean by off, right? Yes. She's going to off Messica. 
Bianca, Ariel, I don't give a F anymore. I'll off people. Um, she's literally threatening to off people. She has threatened to call. She told this woman, I'm going to call your daughter's school. And Breezy starts screaming, this is disgusting. This is gross. And then an hour later, let's watch the demon toilet again. I'm like, you don't give a fuck about your daughter, yeah, do dude, you? Dude, she will happily use her daughter as a shield yes. to put, to paint herself a victim in the situation. And then she's like, my mom doesn't even give a single fuck what's happening to me. YouTubes don't care. Cops don't care. This is a very sick woman. And this girl, this mother of a little girl. Is lapping it up and laughing, or I just I can't. Oh. I can't. Uh, member for seven months. Breezy already threatened the cops on now. Shocking, shocking. She pokes and po I wish this. Oh, see, she. At least Breezy has learned her place in the universe. Breezy will will interact with your mama. Breezy will interact with everybody, but she won't interact with me because she knows better. She knows better. I wish she'd call the cops in my house. Oh, oh, holy hell would be unleashed. Yeah, yeah, we get to blow our nose too. Like that's commentary. Yay, we get to blow our nose too. Oh, I just yo, I can't, I can't stand the poking and prodding. Oh, this is great. Somebody who's so obviously mentally ill, like to a dangerous know. fucking degree, mentally ill. I agree because if this woman ends up walking into a Walmart with a firearm, I hope Breezy and anybody else who who thinks this is funny <laughs> really sits back and thinks about their role in all of this. Like, I know at the end of the day, she needs to get help and it's her responsibility. But like, somebody was like, you should cover naked and laughing. I said, no, you wanna know why? Same reason why I wouldn't cover Little Mama. When those Little Mama clips were coming on Twitter and Belinda was like, oh, did you see that Little Mama? I told Belinda, I said, don't cover her. That woman is not well. What happened three days later, guys? Yep. Little Mama unalived herself. And my, Dude, my conscience was clear. This is going to end very tragically. Oh, it is. It is. Absolutely and this, tragically. And this clown with the Jane Leno chin is going to want some kind of sympathy for it. She's not going to get any. I'll feel bad if her daughter's affected or anybody else in the family, but I will never have sympathy for Jane Leno. Never. Yo, it, it fucks me up, too, that Cobra is caught in the fucking crosshairs as well. Because of his interaction and the fact that this is his girl. Like, these are... Men these are mentally not well people. Do you know what I'm saying? Just I can't stomach the way that people will just exploit those who are obviously not all there, like in a mental capacity. Like this is fucked. This is fucked. All of it. She has a pulmonary embolism. Her chat told her she just ignores it. I think it's a lot from like stuff from using two different substances. Oh, now she's a fucking now she's a substance ex. Oh, for fuck, see what I mean? She's <laughs> such a fucking fraud, Pistachio. She is, and I wish, I hope she pisses off somebody in her family one day, and, and they just come forward with everything because this woman is. I don't believe for a second this woman is a recovering anything. I don't. Meaning, like she's still well, actively just drinking, or she's, she she vapes THC. She calls it California sober, and I'm like, okay, I guess. I mean, wait, I do the same. Like I consider when I say I consider myself clean, I only mean of my drug of choice. I still dabble. I'll drink alcohol maybe twice a year. I still uh, smoke weed, take edibles um, infrequently, but I still do it. So I'm the same, but I, I don't know. There's a way you can do you it. Don't for you're, me, you're, it's the you're, way you're, she you're, talks about it. Yeah, There's something not right there. Your platform was never, I'm a recovering addict. I'm going to disparage addicts. Oh, that's never. Her platform. That's never. her platform. She's laughed at MFW being too drunk. And I'm like, you're a allegedly a recovering alcoholic. And you think this is funny? And then she called the cops at MFW when MFW responded. Like, it's just, this is what she does. She's so desperate to not get a real fucking job. She runs around, tries to insert herself into, she wants to FFG it. That's the only way to explain it. She wants to FFG it. Oh, wait. FFG did you... showed the world that, hey, I can stalk and want to wear somebody's skin and make money doing it. And that's all Breezy wants to do now. Now she's And wait, wait. Now. Busy Little B says, do you preach to people about recovery? Absolutely not. But I will, like with MFW specifically, I will absolutely celebrate when she goes through her phases of wanting and trying to get clean. I will absolutely celebrate it. When someone is trying to, you know, uh, help themselves or get on the right path. I don't preach, but I will celebrate when someone else is trying to uh, get clean. 
Yeah, Cecil, I wish I was, but I gotta drive somewhere soon, so I gotta wait till I get home. Because <laughs> the chat told her she has one doesn't mean she has one, but you know what I mean? I'm sure there's multiple things going on. So because the chat tells her she has one doesn't mean she has one. A minute ago, she attributed this woman's pulmonary embolism to using two different substances and then comes clean with, well, we don't actually know if she has one. It's just her chat telling her that. Oh. Huh. Ew. I also think she has a thyroid issue, though. Why is it sideways, by the way? Because she probably, I don't know. I is it sideways because of now or because of Breezy? No, she's live right now. It's got to be now. Oy. Did you hear? I think she has a Dr. Breezy. I think she has a thyroid issue. She has a huge goiter in her neck. Which might be why she's so flummy, too. Ugh. You had two? Okay, Jason. Like Last Breezy. one landed me in ICU. So what were your symptoms? Just drink water. This is content, by the way. Can you believe this is content? How YouTube allows this to go on, I don't. You know, she's literally sitting here talking with the chat about bullshit while this woman is sitting there minding her business. This should be terminatable. Terminatable? Terminable? Yeah, this what is, is theft. To me, this, this is, is just is theft. It is just theft. This woman can't. She never does reactions. She her her whole shtick is I want to be the first person to rebroadcast content because she can't pre-record content. She doesn't know how to react to things. So her only her shtick is let me be the first person to rebroadcast because that's she's that's the only thing she knows how to do is rebroadcast content. She doesn't. This is theft. This should be demonetized. Yeah. And wait, wait. Water. I want to read this real quick. Nicole says shaming slash guilting addiction doesn't help people find the sober path. Absolutely not. The only there's nothing you can say. There is no outside sources at all that can force an addict into recovery it comes from within a hundred percent of the time there's nothing you can do or say or shame there's not people really don't understand that and the truth is i don't think people really care it's just another it's just another reason to criticize people and to be evil to people that's the truth unfortunately it's funny you say that, Breezy, because now that I've been doing recorded my recorded reactions again, I'm like, God, I missed doing this. It's just I find, even though it's more work, it's just so much more. I find, I don't know, I just find it to be more fun, and I don't know, I'm enjoying doing the recorded content more, so I get it. Stop doing substances. Clearly, she should stop smoking. Go get lab work done. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hysterical. <laughs> Now looks like she's dying. She looks like shit. You look like shit. Fuck you. I just, <laughs> Pistachio, I've met a lot of people on this platform who have infuriated me, but I must say she is, she's, she's the worst one I've ever met. I think it's because, like, FFG is a sack of crap, but FFG is a proud sack of crap. Like, FFG is proud to wear her, hey, I was raised like a piece of shit badge on her front chest. She doesn't care. It's super this different. Woman, this woman like as much as i can't stand her you got to respect her for at least being honest about her intentions on the platform like she proudly will talk about my father it's like okay you're a, you're a see you next tuesday <laughs> but at least you're doing it you know you're being yes you. dude breezy is very on program situation soccer yes. sweet wants to be a fucking see you next tuesday but wants everyone to believe she's kind and sweet and maybe somebody, i can't stand it somebody said it perfectly in a couple streams ago and they said um she wants to be Oh God, if you're here, you're not gonna probably not gonna be if you're not gonna be here. Somebody said she wants to be mean, but known as the nice reactor. Yes. Right? Yeah. The way they described it was perfect. I wish I'd taken a screenshot. She wants and I've always said this. She remember like and I've said this before, when I first started reacting to Foodie Beauty, people kept yelling at me, You're too nice, you're too nice, you have to be nasty. And I tried to toe that line a little bit. And I finally I was like, I can't do that. Like I can be funny. I don't have to unnaturally hate these women. I can be funny and I'm okay with that. If you don't like it, don't watch she wants to do it both and it doesn't work you either got to be nice or you got to be the nasty person you can't be both and yo do you want to know what, you know what i think about myself i feel like i'm the opposite i feel like you know how people say oh a wolf in sheep's clothing i feel like i personally am a sheep in wolf's clothing like i can come off as extremely uh nasty and um critical and i can say really fucked up things but at the at the soul of it like at the core of it i have good intentions so i feel like i'm the exact opposite of that 
Like, so I'm I like have, a. Uh, I have my moments, and I've said mean things that I regret, but I have to be pushed. Like I don't start my day off. How can I hurt somebody's feelings? Like there's people out there. Like we all know what I'm talking about, who are convinced that I am behind the scenes running ops and doing this and running on the farm stuff. No, I prefer not to be entangled with you unless you call for me. Like Breezy has followed an account that accused me of liking kids. Like Breezy, you know what I mean? So this isn't like, I just, I don't go out of my way to be mean to people. Like you have to give me a reason, right? And I don't like it sometimes when I'm mean. <laughs> but this, like, I don't understand this this woman's need to just be nasty. I don't. And it's for views, too. And it's, oh, I just can't. It pisses me off. That's not even me trying to be mean to her. She looks like absolute shit. That's not even me trying to be mean to her. She looks like absolute shit. That's a fucking Hallmark card. <laughs> uh, you look like absolute shit. Love, Breezy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what addiction does. Look at her. That's what addiction does. Yeah, it's. I'm sure that all of what we're seeing is because yeah. of addiction, yeah. not because of mental illness. Correct. I was about to say that too. Thank you. Yo, what drugs you do they see her drink? Do? I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. Like I said, Gigi, cover this woman. I said, nope. I don't need the dollar that bad. <laughs> I just don't. Like it would be very lucrative had I, but I look at this. It's woman one point of sleep at night. Correct. And if something happens, I don't want it on my conscience. I just don't. I don't want to be when little mama unalived herself. A lot of people were like, oh, my God, I started hiding their videos and oh, I feel guilty. No, I'm not going to put myself in that position. I was raised differently. King of Red Bull or Pop. Yikes. And she's only doing this because Messica found that's the part that chaps my ass. She's not interested in this. She doesn't even know what she's talking about. She's just doing it because Jessica Mesca is getting like a thousand people in a live stream. So now she wants in. That's it. She she did this community tab post. I'm only covering her because she puts her life online and uh, she deletes her stuff. So people need to be reminded of how no, gross she is. I'm only Fuck covering you. her because my garlic bread rival, I'm trying to, you know, get a little piece of the attention because I see that Jessica Mesca is doing so well covering the same. That's, That's what it exactly. is. Exactly. Look who's in chat. Goddamn lying, inbred piece of shit. Hey, Belinda. Hey, Belinda. Uh, hey, so Belinda. I have to cover. I'm only, I'm only exposing her. No, you're not. You're a grifter. Go ahead. What'd you say? No, I'm just, I'm curious to know if anybody is aware yet, like uh, Sam specifically, is she aware yet that me and Belinda orchestrated together for oh, no. Belinda to make those tweets on purpose? <laughs> No, knowing that, that that idiot would take the bait. No, Does anybody dummy, know that yet? <laughs> that dummy the other day said um, that Belinda was going to make me choose between her and you. And I was like, she still hasn't figured out you guys were trolling. God, she's so dumb. She's even dumber than her wife looks. Dude, we were actively in the fucking group chat being like, yo, 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 yo. Let's both tweet some fucking, some, you know, not naming names type of eerie fucking hate each other type shit. And immediately she took the bait like we knew she would. Yeah. Fuck no, she it. said that. I was, I was got to choose between you. Because somebody messaged me and was like, oh, this whole argument's blowing up. Sam thinks you're going to have to choose. And I told who the hell was it? If you're in chat, if you want to own it. So finally, I'm going to let you in a little secret. I said there is no fight. They're like, what? I said they just made this whole thing up in a group chat just to, to troll Sam. And he was like, oh, never mind. I said, yeah, there's no choosing of anybody. <laughs> it's so stupid. But support Sam. Poor Sam went live early again today. Guess what the topics were yet again? Me, you, Owl. fucking poor one trick pony. Poor thing has nothing to talk about. God bless her. Terrible. So well, she's the, truly the only person that I've known and that I've seen that can take eight hour showers. I'm mean, not showers, eight hour baths and come looking out like an oil slick. I, I see what I mean, Pistachio. I just, I, she infuriates me. But this she's kind girl. and she's Bullshit. sweet yes. and she's better than everybody else. What do you mean? She's not being nasty. She's just telling the truth. What do you mean? She, she's literally she does look thinking, like an oil slick. What do you mean? How, she's literally sitting there thinking, how can I be as nasty as possible to entertain this chat? And it's just like, I haven't watched the Jessica Mesca coverage because I have no interest in naked and laughing. This is no hate, Jessica. Do, do you? I don't care. But I haven't watched it. But what people tell me is Jessica's not being not doing this jessica's just being like oh my god look what naked and laughing just did ha, ha. 
this woman is making it personal. I'm coming for your man. I'm doing this. You're disgusting. You're. I don't think Jessica's yo, doing any of does that. Does Jessica Messica, like, I don't think any of the coverage I've ever seen from her, she never comes from a place where she feels better than these people. She's just like Jessica, commentating from a place of, like, um, like parallels. I feel she, like never, she never She never condescends. That's what I, I like Jessica, about her. Yeah, and I feel like Jessica Messica has self-awareness. I feel like she understands... That yeah, she's she just being a troll. Sons. She's being a troll. Like with that Sam thing with the whole Tumblr thing. She made a whole video where she went outside. She put on a hazmat suit or a plastic bag. She turned it into. She turned Sam's stupid Tumblr troll into a very entertaining video. Jessica is entertaining, and the problem is this buffoon on screen, Breezy, has moderators like Her World Insane who hate Jessica Messica, so they just gas her up. And keep her going about Jessica. So the, the whole thing today has been Jessica Messica is doing this and nobody's giving her flack for it because Jessica doesn't call the cops. Jessica doesn't poke the hornet's nest and then call uh, the orchid man, right? She doesn't do that. Jessica porks, po uh, pokes the Pork. hornet's nest. <laughs> por <laughs> she, po she pokes the hornet's nest and then gladly lets them sting her because she understands I got myself into this. This bitch, as you saw earlier, is already threatening to call the cops on this woman. If you're so afraid of this woman and you think that she's a threat to your child, why are you still doing this? If because somebody, she if this... loves it. Dude, she loves the threat to her child because then she gets to be the victim. That's if why I she uses did... her child as a shield. It's gross. If I did naked and laughing videos and this woman put a photo of my dogs and said I'm coming to, 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 to off them both, I would, my, these are my dogs. I would stop covering her for my dogs. <laughs> I can't imagine if I had a kid. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And mind you, this isn't even reacting. This is boring. Jessica Mesca cooks. She has different things up on screen. This woman just literally gets a notification, tells her kid to go fuck herself, go to your room and play your Switch or whatever, and she goes live and watches her and does and says nothing. Mm. Dude, I think, like, less I think rage Breezy, though, because... pause it for a sec. I think Breezy also resents the fact that Jessica Mesca, she's a personality. She's the kind of person who you want to watch no matter what she's covering, no matter what she's talking about. And Breezy has to be the first to snipe the stream. She has to be the first to cover for, for people to watch. She's the bottom of the barrel. She's the last fucking choice. And I think she knows it at the end of the day. You know? Yeah. The chat's not instigating her. Exactly. Oh, Melinda. no, great bunch. I'm oh, did you see her stupid thing on Twitter? Everybody's so stupid. They actually thought Josh messaged me. Nobody, like, nobody actually thought he was messaging her. Like, she's not getting the point. <laughs> she's, she thinks that everybody's up in arms because we actually believed that Cobra was messaging her. No, everybody's up in arms because you have once again put yourself and your daughter in a harrowing situation and you want us to fucking feel bad for you. No, Ugh. no. And I'm sorry. I believe that you... <laughs> Bear with me. Keep using that, your child as a shield to further victimize yourself. That's all you're good at. <laughs> and bear with me, but I believe that even King Cobra JFS has standards. It would yes. not fuck, Dude, would not she's, fuck with Breezy. Breezy is the type of person to put on fishnets and show her ass to show the world that she's slimmer than Foodie Beauty, that she's more attractive than fucking this mentally ill woman, and that she could steal Cobra in a heartbeat if only she wanted to. Like, this is a pathetic sad fucking sad she when she was live a week or two ago people her chat was going in oh n naked and laughing just breezing is 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 sniping you like she wants the attention because instead of building a channel by being bubbly and personable and funny with talent she wants to build a channel by getting attention it's like you're fucking lazy man Dude, lazy, she lazy, has no lazy. personality. That's why she has to make all of these things be her personality. Her recovery is her personality. Her fucking daughter is her personality. She's she's so boring and she's, she's so, so fraudulent. Like, fraudulent. ugh. Belinda, who are you talking about? So she, she claimed that Cobra was messaging her. And then yesterday she tweeted... The, the woman who says, leave my baby daddy out of this, after putting her baby daddy online, tweeted... Sala, you know Sala is right, Foodie Beauty's husband. Yeah. Sala sent me a DM that he wants to shit on me. This is a 41-year-old woman who tweeted Ugh. that. And she did that because I know Foodie Beauty watches my Twitter. <laughs> and I'm hoping she rages. 
You know what? If you had talent, personality, and creativity, you wouldn't... See, I don't need... This is why bitches hate me. I don't need Chantal and Amber to rage. I can take Chantal and Amber sitting there eating a taco, and I can make that shit entertaining as fuck. I don't need to hate on them. I don't have to make fun of them. I don't have to insert myself in the storyline. I don't have to go to her motherfucking fashion show. I can watch her and, and, and be it. And that's why... But Breezy can't do that. Breezy... The only way Breezy thinks she's going to she's gonna build a channel is by being... And again... FFG laid a blueprint down. FFG came into a community of reaction channels and she started cow tipping and then she put Yaba in her place because Yaba had the right idea. Remember for like five minutes, you shouldn't yeah. be doing this. This is bullshit. And then Yaba backed off because pussy. Yeah, um, dude, she kowtowed because I, and I knew this was going to happen. Somebody was going to come in and have no oh, fucking, Pam, no, no line that they weren't willing to cross. Are you talking about Pam Belinda? I li I named her Pam from Thailand. Breezy claimed that <laughs> she's so fucking desperate for any engagement. Such a lie. I got a message from a woman who claims she was in Thailand in a 7-Eleven and she met Sala and he asked her for $5. Yeah. And I'm sure thinking that's to myself, real. yeah, bitch, this woman, she went to Thailand with no credit cards, by the way. She went with no money. And she so she asked Salah for $5. I 110% believe that out of the YouTube underground, out, out of Gorlick Bread, out of French Fry, out of all these channels who get engagement, that this woman found your small ass yeah. and decided to tell you. And of course, yeah, she made videos dude. about it. She made videos about it, knowing damn well it was bullshit. But if you talk about her baby daddy, we all know what happens, right? Grow. All so to play the victim always. That's heartbreaking. What is what? What bullshit are you saying? Sorry now? for your loss. Oh, she's being sympathetic to a chat. Person, That's heartbreaking. You know? Okay, great. She's like what fifteen? No, what did we find out? She is thir I always get the age wrong. Somewhere between 36 to 39. I want to say she's the... Where is she from, dude? What is her accent? Well, I don't know where she's originally from, but she lives in California. Oh, okay. I smell it. I, I hear it. Ugh. I'm looking at that woman on screen, and this is depressing. How does anybody find this entertaining? Look at I don't know, woman. dude. It's sickening. I can't. Look at her. It. Look at her. She's, she looks just... Like, Foodie and Amber are cows, I guess, but they're entertaining and they're happy. Like, they're not... this. Like, if Foodie ever became this and started crying in corners and, and sobbing into tissues, I couldn't do it anymore. Like, I'm like this isn't entertaining. This is sad. 39. I want to say she's Dude, 39. I'm talking some... It speaks to just how sick the people who get off on this type of content are. Because yeah. people watch this and they enjoy it because it makes them feel better about their own situation. That's why people are watching. And the thing I don't understand is this uh, Jay Leno lookalike has said a million times. Sorry, we're not even going to go back to Risa Tisa. We're going to end this in a little bit because I go bowling. And at this point, I'll just change the title. Uh, we'll do Risa Tisa sometime this weekend. Um, her mom allegedly watches all her content. And I'm sitting there thinking, where is your mother? Because let me tell you something. If I had a mother who was watching my content and then saw that dangerous threat against me and my child, my mother would be like, what the fuck are you doing continuing this? So is your mother trash too? I don't understand. Like where and is yo, grandma? Busy little B, busy little B said that's why Breezy watches. I a hundred percent believe that. She gets I, uh, it's it's just somebody to watch and feel better than. Yeah. She gets. I think Gross, she gets. Gross, dude. Instead Some... of having compassion and fucking empathy for somebody who's obviously in a state of struggle that they can't control or get a handle on, like fucking a. Who raised you? Who raised you? A woman who watches the channel and apparently is not concerned that her granddaughter is getting threats. So either she lied and mom's not watching the channel or mom don't give a fuck about the grandkid. I don't know. Ah. It's going to be one of those. And how she manages to look 85. Jesus Christ. 39. Okay. Like, who says this to a mentally unwell woman? You're ugly. You look an oil slick. Do you want her to offer? Let me tell you, if this woman ends up offering herself, I'm going to create a second channel dedicated. I'm going to call it Breezy's Shadow. And I'm going to mm. follow this woman until the end of time to make sure that everybody knows that she had a hand. <clears throat> this is suicide. Thank you, guys. This is where this is going to end up. Oh, Michael Myers is here. <laughs> And yo, also gaining ground pauses for a sec. It also fucks me up that she is overtly criticizing things that are obvious fucking 
these are symptoms of severe fucking mental illness slash depression. Yeah. Like, and you're criticizing it. Yeah. To feel better than her? Like, you are disgusting to a fucking degree that I can't stomach or understand. Yep, I know, Breezy. I talk a big game, and then I realize I remember that I have a life, and the last thing I want to do is dedicate it to any of these idiots. But it sounds good in theory, right? <laughs> I probably wouldn't. Oh. It'd, be too much, it'd be too much work. I thought about, every time she goes live to snipe now, I've thought about going live to snipe her unmonetized and doing a, uh, a fundraiser for mental illness instead. Like, I've thought about it. Just start firing up my laptop, rebroadcasting this, saying, hey, everybody, don't reward Breezy. Just watch it through me. I'll watch Breezy, watch her, and then doing, like, a little fundraiser. In the, you know, oh, you my God. Do you keep do you keep it. calling Busy Breezy? Yeah, probably, because it's too much fucking. It's too hard. I keep telling <laughs> Busy she's got to change you her name. You gotta stop, but you're fucking her shit up. She's got to change her name. I cannot handle it. <laughs> Maybe I just call her B instead of busy. B. I'm just gonna call her B. You'll be 56 Saturday. That's cool, Candy. Yeah. She looks 45 at least. She looks old. Like Jesus you Christ. look old. <laughs> you look old. Damn. I know I got me. Such a fucking cunt. Maybe maybe this weekend because I'm trying to st try. I'm trying to save money so I can pay for my my new windows coming in. So maybe Saturday if um if I stay home all day, which I say I'm going to, then I always get the text I want to go to lunch the next thing I know my lunch. But let's say that doesn't happen, boots, and she goes live to stay. Maybe we'll do like um, a mental illness fundraising stream or something. We'll figure that out. Which sucks because we'll be here for hours for free, but whatever. She filters her nose off. She really does. And I know gaining ground. You think this is a slight to Foodie Beauty, but tell me not that. Fucking breezy looks just like Chantel when Chantel no, was young. I don't see. Fucking people uncanny. Said it, people, said it on, people said it on Twitter. I'm not seeing it. I'm not. You're bugging. It. They look so alike, dude. I'm not seeing it. I say it because I know it would piss her off. Yeah, and breezy's sub count keeps going up. Although she only has 170 people watching, which is really sad. You showed your, you showed the world your pancake ass, and you still can't even hit 200 uh, viewers in a live stream. Like how embarrassing for you. But people are rewarding her by subbing up. Like stop rewarding this behavior i don't understand it can you imagine p posting pics to flex on a severely mentally ill woman no i can't imagine because i was raised better <laughs> oh excellent taste in music hey, can i tell you something at this point i'm beginning to resent my mother for raising me right because oh, me it makes it dude it makes the world really difficult to fucking deal with when you're the only sane person around i mean like, listen, i want to be fucked up too i'm tired probably, of it i would probably have a plaque by now if i had no conscience yeah dude if i, I resent I... it if I had no conscience, I'd be well in the 100s at this point. I'd have a plaque. And anybody who says you delusional is full of shit. You all were there. You remember. I was growing at a rapid, rapid 12. I, I monetized in February 12,000 subs by April. I was growing fast. My live streams were pulling in 1,500 to 2,000 viewers. A three-month-old channel. But I just, after dealing with what I saw was going on with Hey Nation, I was like, no, fuck this shit. <laughs> My mom is 54. I believe it really, she it does not pay to be a good person. It does pay. It that's does the sad not part. Pay. It does pay. But one day that's going to come back to these people. And I hope all the money, the money is not going to save them. Because one day it's all going to come back. But whatever. She looks much older than 39. I agree. She does. I also, also actually have a life. Like I don't say I have a life and then go live and then host card games with my, like, I, you know what I mean? Like I don't do that. Like when I say I actually go out, people, oh, you're always here. Am I really? No, I'm not the one. I don't do live streams and then host game card nights every. I kind of feel bad at times. I'm like, you really have like no friends who invite you out. Like the only friends you have are your virtual friends. Like this whole fucking space is like the, uh, the saddest episode of intervention ever. No, but gaining ground, do you know that all of these people, the people in this space, all of their social interaction is, is had online. online. Yeah. They That's why up. they take this shit so seriously. That's why they're so, they know everything about yeah. everything at all times. Because this is their only fucking kind of social interaction they participate in. Yeah. Sadly, they make up, they make up stories. Um, oh, you want to hear a good laugh? I saw it on the farms. I asked for proof. And nobody sent it to me yet. So if anybody knows where I can find it, please do. Someone said that old Frenchie to weaved a tale the other night. A fantastic tale because she's, you know, after me now to help Yava and Sam because they got to stick together because the ship's sinking. And uh, she weaved this tale about how 
when I first started off, I was an anti GG channel, and then I then I did the weight loss, and then I that's not true at all. I said that is not not true true at all. I still have her first video, so if somebody can find me that clip, we'll react to her first video. She dude, started she off as a weight loss channel. Dude, she was a huge fan of yours, and then I forget what it was, but something you did or said or an opinion it was, it was, you had. It was, the hater, it was the Hater Nation 2020 thing. She she jumped on that bandwagon, I'm assuming. But no, at first she was a huge fan of yours. She did a whole that. diatribe about how much she used to love you and how oh, she can't believe that. you did this or that or whatever the fuck. She did, she did, she jumped on the Hater Nation shit. I didn't even know who she was. I remember she used to say the most disgusting things on Twitter. I know you're all shocked, right? And then one day she started a channel, and then she started doing her weight loss. And then I saw that, and I posted her screenshot on Twitter. I said, this is the woman who has been saying all this crazy, like this Weeble Wobble Danny DeVito lookalike is the (laughs) one who's been talking all this shit. And that's when she lost her mind and started going after me, you, and saying the most horrific her, she goes, I think I might make those public again. No, you won't, bitch, because you know you'd lose your channel. You hit him for as soon as she got monetized, she hit all those videos because she knew. Of course, she did. She knew, but the the audacity of her saying, "I started off as a anti GJ." No, bitch, you started off as a weight loss channel, and then you realized you wanted to wear Chantal skin, and, yo, and then you ballooned like a She used to like be a, a Chantal defender. She used to be that. Why? Oh, you you, you went muted again. I think you lost your mic. Oh, there you were. Dude, can you hear me? Yeah, now we can. She used you to be Defender 1. Tell Defender, why do you think she used to say, I'm not an anti-hater, I'm an anti I'm an anti-anti. The reason why she needed to say that is because she used to defend Sorry. Chantel. And she didn't want people to assume that she was coming from the same vein. No, you're, you're, in, no, you're incorrect. No, you're incorrect. No, you're incorrect. The anti-anti came up because she wanted to make it clear that she hated the haters, but also hated the antis. No, no, but but the reason why she needed to do that is because of her own opinions. Oh, People were know. assuming that because she was a Chantel defender, that she was part of the antis. That Jasmine, is the have, reason why. Jasmine, have you ever seen her first video? Like, she, total, either she was fake then or fake now. I'm thinking she was fake then. Her first video, she's timid. And she's talking about how she's been following Amber and Chantal and she's going to lose weight and she's going to follow the plans they do. And then she did a water fast. She did another fast and she was following their footsteps. She was copying their diets. And then when she realized there were no views there, she decided to start attacking us because she was getting promoted by Charlie and Callie and Michael and I don't know if Zachary ever did an on program and that's when she found her success. I will say this though, as much of a piece of shit she is, I do love the fact that she then became bigger than all those people. So I'm like, haha, backfired. <laughs> her first video, like she her first video unrecognizable. So I'm hoping that somebody finds me that clip where she makes good on her make those videos public because I'd love to go back to her first video. Belinda, wait, fake. wait, wait, wait. Belinda said she stood alone, remember? I'm an army of one. Do you know what's really fucked up? And I yes. wish that I still had this video to put it up. Do you know that she got that from me? I did a whole fucking live stream talking about how I'm an army of one and I stand with nobody because it's all about integrity and violence. She got that from me. Ugh. Fucking gross. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go live. I'm going to hit live because I'm going to go. Out of my head. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's see her final thoughts after saying nothing. I can't believe it's snowing in Wyoming right now. Oh, I have the first video. And when I get to Walmart, I'm going to stop the stream. And- but I haven't heard. I couldn't find her saying the other night that uh, telling the weaving that lie. She told me in DMs and she's like, my audience hates you so much, LOL. She cultivates. She gets people to hate. That, that's how she keeps her audience. She, she unfortunately manufactured that big audience, and now she knows she can tell them whatever. She, she laughed about it. She was like, oh, your audience, my audience totally hates you. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, because you fucking lied to them. But that's that's why that's, Dude, that's what she takes advantage of. She told Sweet Tea. Round. She Game told round. Sweet Tea that I never cared about her. Correct. Correct <laughs> I never cared about you because – this is the internet, and I'm making videos. I'm not. And, dude, and the difference is, is that she will lie to Tweet so T and pretend like she does give a shit. Yes. Oh, yeah. I've seen, I saw some DMs too, but whatever. We'll keep those private. But yeah, she told Tweet T that um, Tweet T goes, Frenchie was right about you. You never cared about me. And I was like, if that's not some manipulative, actual predatory shit, 
I don't know what is. I can't ever imagine saying to somebody, you know that creator just doesn't care about you. It's fucking weird. Dude, how yes. could you? How could you I, care I about Sorry. everybody that you interact with? It's not I mean, feasible. Don't expect it. Oh, no, Period. I'm not joking, Jay. No, no, Jay, I'm not joking. She she said that. She told Tweet T that I don't care about her, and Tweet T said no. She was right. You don't get, It's so manipulative and so fucking gross, but she manipulates the French fried bitches, so that's what she does. It's the only way she can keep an audience, and now Yava's sucking on her teeth because poor Yava's struggling to stay relevant with her wife. And yo, Gaining Ground, back to what you said. Her audience, FFG's yes. audience, needs to hate everybody yes. that FFG tells them to, Correct. or else they will be fucking shunned and publicly tar and feathered. It's a cult. It's a cult. That woman is running a straight up Kool Aid. They all do. Cults. They all. And they have yeah, the thinnest fucking skin going. I don't know. Like I feel like with her, hers, like her is crazy. Like when when I got that message, she was right. You don't care about me, and I'm like. I'm going to care about all of you to an extent. I want you all to be happy, healthy, and successful, and prosperous, and, and prosperous in all the stuff you you do in your life. But I can't care about you further than that because I don't know you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, dude, and I you think can't expect that. I've cultivated a sane audience that you all understand that. But here's the French fry girl problem. This I don't think I think this is the first time she's ever found any kind of popularity. She's ever found like friends. She's ever found people who tell her she's cool. And this is all she has. So she manipulates them to keep it because I don't, it's weird. It's weird that you, you're a content creator and you, you react to foodie beauty and then behind the scenes, you're telling your subscribers, you know that creator doesn't care about you the way I do, right? Ugh. Weird. Weird. It's manipulative. Weird, it's weird. fucking evil, It's predatory. Dude. It's predatory. Yes, it is predatory. <laughs> I mean, how many times have I fallen out with people, Pistachio? What's the reason? I thought you liked me, or I thought that that we were friends, or you and, and like that's how it always ends up, and that's why I don't really check my DMs anymore because you're friendly with some people on the space, and they think you're dating. <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, it's no, sick. I can't. No, I won't even entertain it. I will not even entertain it personally. I will not. Sad. It's such a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> She's not even like watching. Yeah, it's Mimi Wednesday, and I still haven't. What are we watching, by the way? Right. She's still watching now, saying nothing. I'm trying, to get to her, I'm, trying to get to, I'm trying to get to her final thoughts when she turns the video off. All right, here we go. Oh. What up, young wait for her you? other stream to start. But look, we'll wait for her other stream to start. This isn't content. This oh. is not sitting around. This is thievery. Like, it's poor thievery. I just noticed what her name is just hoeing today. You're a fucking <laughs> mother, Breezy. You're a fucking mother to a daughter. I feel so bad that kid's going to end up obese and she's going to get taunted in school. And you want to know what that kid's going to hear? The same insult she hears her mother dishing out on a daily yep. basis to people online. And what yep. is that kid going to think? I'm so tired of these mothers and fathers on YouTube expecting us to be better parents to their kids than they are. Leave my kids out of this. Fuck you. Yuck. We'll wait for her other stream to start. But Ugh, it's all you've got. But I'm looking for got. something right now. It's so disgusting. I'm looking for something very important. You're a Tell thief her. and you it's need this that bitch's content to get viewers. Who are you when you soft. need her to get people to watch your shit, bitch? Because she was struggling because Chantal wasn't uploading as much anymore. So she was like, what am I going to do? And then she sees the Messica success. And Nal is always on live. Because as soon as Foodie goes live, she's live. Breezy's live. Foodie's live and raging. Foodie's doing this. She'll be in the middle of a Queen Cobra stream. And if Foodie goes live and she switches to Foodie. This is all she has. Of course. It's thievery. And I don't know how YouTube allows it. See? I don't. And somebody was talking about it in the chat. And now I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> she never responds to me because she knows better, Melody. She knows better. She'll respond to your mom, and, but she knows better. She knows better. Ooh, why doesn't she say? Melinda says a reminder: Breezy was in a Discord with the bodega, egging them on. Oh, to strike you, Belinda. Let's not forget, Breezy was privy to the false strike plan. Breezy was privy. She She's was all there. about it. I have the screenshot. And she won't address that in front of her audience, just like she hasn't addressed blackface. She's hiding about the blackface thing. Won't talk about it in public. The other day, she was still gushing over Marty, but she's got that beautiful, beautiful... Let me not even say it. Let me just stop. I gotta stop repeating Breezy's failures as a mother. They are not my place. 
Wait, I heard Breezy got Tweety back on cocaina. What? No, leave Kate alone. Kate's making shit up. <laughs> have you are you and outside yeah. walmart with this sign asking for money she bugs like on her, which I I right now oh so she's Someone's back to, her to new save him. she's she's now streaming a new oh my god this is so ridiculous my heart would break but i guess copes deserves it i'm sorry eric Ugh. he needs a breezy in his life <gasps> See, see. Oh my God! I am gonna, I am gonna feel bad for that kid when something happens. But you know what? I will not be above myself to, to, to let the world know that mom failed that child. Dude, and can we talk? Can we just talk about how gross it is to pretend to be interested in Cobra just to get at fucking? Trigger. I can't. I can't. Just to trigger a mentally un. This is sport for her. Just breezy is a terrible, terrible terrible human being she's a terrible person she I, I i hope to god the custody is a lie i hope that kid's with the father because Me this too. is not a woman who should be raising a child this should not she should not be raising a child and then she says on twitter to justify i'm just covering her this isn't covering her she's intentionally doing this hoping naked and laughing tunes in hears it and then rages and retaliates and fucking retaliates how do you not love your own fucking kid? How do I how love my you, dogs more? How can you shield yourself with your kid to further victimize yourself so people on the internet will be like, wow, that is fucked up. She is coming after your child. Yet you're overtly fucking antagonizing this mentally ill woman saying you could take her man like ill. But this is the part I don't get, right? A couple people like Satan in her world are all like, yeah, leave the kid alone. She's getting a lot of fuck use from people. Like, she's only got 179 people. People on Twitter are literally flat out saying to her, you're disgusting. S stop fucking with your kid's life. And she doesn't... All she thinks about is money. This bitch just doesn't want to get a job. She doesn't want to earn a living. She wants that FFG easy coin. And she's trying to follow in those footsteps, but she doesn't want to go full FFG. Dude, and she, she doesn't might as care. well at this point. She doesn't care of the potential of her kid getting hit. By the know. fucking shrapnel of her own karma. No. They said they were going to... Con the kid they said is going to get hit with the shrapnel of her mother's karma. They said they were going to contact the kid's school and she's still at it. Gorlick Bread used the kid's nickname and she called the cops on him for that. For using the kid's nickname. she call Was it Gorlick Bread, guys, or whoever it was? <laughs> Somebody said the kid's nickname, whoever it was. She called the police on that. We now have this woman antagonizing and saying i'm gonna off you i'm gonna call your kids school blah 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 and this lazy grifting jay leno lookalike <laughs> is still pushing her and and poking her and that's what people are telling her on twitter you're not reacting you're poking antagonizing, you're antagonizing. Oh, yeah. jinx <laughs> and she's not getting it she's not getting it i just this which is what I'm saying. She Dude, doesn't have the kid. Which I her I'm daughter right. is going to end up being fucked with in real life. Her yeah. school getting. Yeah. Oh, you muted again. Your fucking mic. Come back. Pistachio, come back. As a result of her mother's behavior. Yes. And she's way too happy to do it. And you know what's going to happen? This woman has pissed so many people off that if that does happen and she tries to spin some story, I'm not going to be surprised if the school starts getting flooded with a phone call saying, no, 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 That woman put the kids in harm's way. People will do that because you know how the internet works. No Dude. one's going to tolerate this. If something happens to that kid's, in that kid's school, nobody's going to tolerate her bullshit. Like, I can't believe this happened. This is so terrible. People will probably end up calling. You know how people are. They're going to call the school and be like, no, nah, bitch. No, nah, that's not what grounds. The kid is 11, right? Yeah. Is he 11 this or is, they are at an age where they're all. Shit, you left again. What the fuck? Why does it auto mute? Can you imagine? Say or... that again. You, you auto muted again. Your kids Can you Asian. imagine what? potentially this 11 year old girl's friends in school becoming aware of her mother's fucking YouTube channel? I said on Twitter, what if. One of the kid's parents or the other student sees those fishnet stockings. That girl's going to go to school and be humiliated. Just her behavior alone on the internet. Fuck the fishnets. Her behavior and her disgusting. I'd rather just, not. Ugh. You know how the Snapchats work. Like, she's going to be sitting in school one day. 
And she's going to hear everyone's phone go off in school. Like, you know, those dramatic movie moments. And yeah. everyone's going to look at their phone and be like, oh, my God. And it's going to be. Is that your mom? Ew, look at what <sighs> your mom does on the Internet. Oh, and then what look, I'm hoping... this is her mom. This is what her what mom hoping... does. And then what I'm hoping happening happens is the kids saying, oh, no, um, she we're estranged. I've been with my dad for four years. My mom's a drunk. Like, that's what I'm hoping is the truth. I'm hoping the kid is nowhere involved in this situation what do you I really think, pray to god what do you think breezy would do if the if the kid comes home crying mommy they found your youtube channel they're all making fun of me can you please stop do you think she no, would stop she would no she would turn her she would turn it into a victim somehow she'd somehow be the victim or, of that too. yo can you imagine them all finding her fucking go fund me oh your mom's so poor she's trying to raise money on the internet to bring you to fucking disney world ha ha your mom like, is so poor she can't take it in half so many different things this one makes me sick i'm over it i can't watch anymore plus i gotta get ready for bowling anyway it's already uh 5 6 21 i don't know so sorry for the reese's teases bitches but all of you stayed so clearly you were happy with the change direction and it drop off <laughs> we'll get back into reese's and shit i just i didn't care enough today and then when pistachio offered to come i was like perfect we don't have to watch we could do something else but um i did make a thumbnail for breester I'm gonna. I can't go live Friday because. Well, I, no, I'm not going live Friday. I have plans at seven. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go live before that. I'm gonna go live tomorrow. Hopefully, I think I'm gonna do breezy. I made the thumbnail. It's really good. Um, so you're going live tonight at some point soon. I'm gonna. I was gonna go live around this time, but since I was on the stream with you, now I'm gonna go live probably more around like eight. You should do so nine. So I'll schedule I'm mine done with soon. Bowling and then I can watch when I get home. Do nine. All right. Thank you for having me on. I'm gonna go say right, bye and stuff. PM. Do nine. Do nine p.m. Okay, I'll do nine. All right, we'll catch you later. Could somebody throw Pistachio's uh, channel in the chat? Uh, bye. All right, bye. All right, guys. Um, so I'm going to do – I have the thumbnail. Do I have to kick her or does she leave? There she goes. I have the thumbnail. Sorry for my messy closet. I have the th – for those of you who missed it, I didn't do the normal streaming because it would have taken out my shirt and I would have been a floating pen. So anyways, uh, we're going to do the breezy stream probably tomorrow. I just have to schedule it, but I do need a thumbnail, but I'll schedule it when I get back from um, bowling. And we're going to review all of the tweets. We're going to review the re reactions to Breezy, the, 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 the ones defending her, the insane people defending her, the people who are chastising her. We're going to go through that. And then I want to watch the stream that she did after she claimed her child was being threatened. There was a stream she did after the child was threatened. She went right back to streaming because kid be damned. I guess we can't all be good parents. Vicky, Melk, and Lynn, thank you three for being members. I'm going to go... Cricket. I'm working at Cricket. I got to sell some phones. I'm going to go. Uh, thanks, to everybody. Tomorrow, uh, stay tuned. I'll schedule it tonight if I do it. Maybe like 5 p.m., maybe 4 p.m. Eastern. I don't know. But I love you guys. I'm going to go. Um... Oh, we were just watching her. She, she, she's been, she stream sniped her for four hours. Uh, what do you mean breezy, lone entourage? Sniped her for almost four hours, and she's back sniping her again. And she's all doing nothing but calling her ugly. And threatening to take her man. This is a mentally unwell woman. But like I said, we can't all be good parents, right? Anyway, I am looking thin, bitches. I am thin. I don't know why they keep saying. There's a couple idiots who keep talking about my breasts growing back, bitch. Dude, you look at my breasts grew back. Look at these. Look at these flat breasts. This is. Look, I should get a breast tattoo like Chantal. That'll just peek out ever so slightly from here. <laughs> I'm going to get myself a little breasticle tattoo. That just peeks out from hair. Rolling hair only. Maybe I'll get Belinda's name. You'll just see the end of the A on my, on my chest. Belinda, are you working today or are you going live? I don't know if Belinda's still here. Belinda, in, in the final minute, let me know if you're working today or going live. All right, mods, thanks for modding. I'm going to go. Uh, hopefully, I'll get some strikes tonight. Pray for me because we're not doing that great in this round. Although, I did pretty good last week, but we'll see if I can do better tonight. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go. I'll see you guys tomorrow at some point. I'm going to give 10 seconds to see if Belinda responds to see if she's going live. Ah, oh, she's taking too long. Keep an eye on Melinda's channel see if she goes live. Uh, if not, Pistachio's also going to be live later tonight, too. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for a breezy stream, most likely. If it doesn't happen, it'll be Saturday. And then after that, we're going to do the next episode of the Bebot Underground. Have a good night, everybody, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. I keep looking at the wrong fucking camera. You're over there today. Bye.